to make a correction. Na kufanya marekebisho. We must have a pattern we are looking for. Tunapaswa kuwa na mpangilio ambao tunatazamia. When teachers go for correcting examinations. Wakati walimu wanaenda kusahihisha mtihani. They are given a standard to look at. Wanapewa kiwango fulani kutazama. What is our standard? Kiwango chetu ni kipi? The book of Acts now. Ni kitabu cha Matendo sasa. And we can see in the book of Acts. Tunaweza ona kitabu cha Matendo. How the spirit was moving. Vile Roho Mtakatifu alikuwa naso. Men and women. Kupitia hao waume na wake. full of the Holy Ghost. Walikuwa wamejaa na Roho Mtakatifu. And that's why when Paul comes correct Correcting them. They were happy. Because Bobby tells us, if a man claims to have a gift, and you correct him by the scripture, he gets angry, it shows it in the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit loves correction by his own word. That's what Paul is telling us here. For all of us who think we need gifts now, we must be ready for correction now. Brother, sister, if you will ever serve God with one of the gifts, be ready for correction. And if you find you can't be corrected, tell God, remove the spirit before you leave so that you are subject to correction. Because these gifts can error. Remember, in the book of Acts, let me begin with Jesus. Jesus never errored. He was the standard. But the apostles, if you watch them, they made some blunders. You will find, find Peter constraining Gentiles to be circumcised. Paul corrects no Peter. Mind your business to Jews. Petro akumwambia jali kazi yako kwa yeye kwa No Paul told Peter Petro Paul akamwambia Petro mind your business to Jews Jali kazi yako kwa Wayahudi Me I'm the message of Gentiles Mimi ni mjumbe kwa watu wa mataifa And this circumcision does not work Na hii kazi ya tohara ni kazi This circumcision of the heart Ni tohara ya moyo and of the ears Na ya masikio Hallelujah Hallelujah Because Paul had a deeper revelation Maana Paul alikuwa na ufunuo wa ulimi Jesus correct Peter Ndio alimrekebisha Peter never said you know Petro akusema I had the keys no, 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 no. He had the Holy Ghost. And the spirit of prophets is subject to prophets. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That was now the book of Acts. After John the Baptist, then came Jesus, then came apostles. Now we know Malachi 4, Elijah was in Branham now. Son of man, Jesus in Branham now. Hallelujah. We are now the product of that. We must know we can be corrected. That's why that's the first thing must sink in us. Brothers and the sisters, this Gifts can error. And they don't mean when you have them, you are spiritual than your brother who doesn't have them. Yeah. In fact, you are in more danger for God judging you for misusing that gift. And if you don't use it, remember the man was given one talent and he went to hide. So you are like that fellow as well. So you have no option now. You must consecrate your life. You must ask for the feeling of the Holy Ghost. Must let God to lead you to, to use that gift there to edify the body of Christ now. That's why he entrusted you. He would have given somebody else. But what did he give you? He knew you have the potential. He knew he can give you the grace to use it. Hallelujah. And that's why when we see even brothers going astray is a clear indication there is a genuine somewhere. And maybe you have the genuine one. Brother or sister, we need a church whereby who said it wasn't preachers who said separate me Paul and Barnabas. It was the spirit using believers in the church of Antioch. Antioch. 
The same Holy Ghost can even speak in our church. Me, I'm looking for the day. The Holy Ghost will, will, will filter preachers who come here. Rom takatifu mwenye atachuja waubiri wanaokuja hapa mibarani not weekly now si weekly sasa because me I can give the pulpit to anybody maana mimi naweza peana mibara kwa mtu yote but the holy ghost ila rom takatifu can filter anaweza chuja vizuri i am looking for that na tazamia hiyo and i believe all things are possible to those who believe na naamini mambo yote yawezekana kwa wale wanao amini let us believe hebu tuamini We are promised a restoration. Tumeahidiwa urejesho. That Bible spirit coming back. Huyo roho wa Biblia akirudi. That's why you see like Israel. Ndio unaona kama Israel. A type of the church. Mfano wa kanisa. Remember the church is fighting the greatest battle ever fought. Kumbuka kanisa linapigana vita vikuu vilivyowahi kupiganwa. Fighting principalities. Kupigana na mamlaka. Powers. Na nguvu. Rulers of the darkness of this world. Na watawala wa giza la ulimwengu huu. Which are getting in high places. The spiritual wickedness wovu wa kiroho katika sehemu za juu these are the things that look spiritual but examining the word is wickedness haya ni mambo ambayo yanaonekana ni ya kiroho lakini akitazamwa katika neno yaonekana ni wovu to fight this battle kupigana vita hivi we must put on the whole armor lazima tuvai silaha zote and in those messages of putting on the whole armor na katika zile jumbe za kuvaa zile silaha zote so the prophet tells us nabia tamia the holy ghost from takatifu through the fivefold ministry kupitia zile huduma tano through the gifts in the church kupitia karama kanisani is the fullness of the armor of god now yote milifu wa silaha zote za mungu are we together now je tuko pamoja and we are fighting these battles now na tunapigana vita hivi like israel kama israel one time wakati fulani they were going to fight walikuwa wanataka kupigana the king had no answer mfalme hakuwa na jibu the army had gathered against them na jeshi lilikuwa limekusanya dhidi yao to fight god's people kupigana na watu wa mungu there were so many than israel walikuwa wengi kuliko israel king jehoshaphat had no answer mfalme jehoshaphat hakuwa na jibu the high priest had no answer uhani mkuu hakuwa na jibu eh but the spirit of god came upon lakini roho wa Mungu akamjia was it Jezreel to someone in Israel Jezreel ama mtu fulani Israel and prophesied na akatoa unabii told them stand still akaambia simameni wima the battle is not yours vita si vyenu this is the battle of the lord vita ni vya bwana hallelujah hallelujah we need this manifestation tuahitaji ya madhirisho they will help us conquer some of the things that are disturbing us yatatusaidia tuyashinde baadhi ya mama mama na tu yatatulemea and you remember how they fought in that battle there wakumbuka vile walivyopigana katika hiyo vita that god in that exodus huyo mungu katika huko kutoka is the god in the third exodus ndiye mungu katika kutoka kwa if we can only recognize that iwapo tutatambua hivyo and dedicate ourselves na tujiweke wakfu and consecrate our lives na tuweke wakfu maisha yetu verses and to honor to a vyombo vya heshima sanctify vilivyotakaswa consecrate fit for the master's use vinavyofaa kwa ajili ya mtumishi wa Bwana tell you brothers and sisters we niambie ni ndugu na wadada some of the problems we have in the church baadhi ya shida tulizo nazo kanisani we can have if, a manifestation of the gifts in one month iwapo tutakuwa na madhirisho ya vipawa katika mwezi mmoja they will not be there hizo shida zitatukuepo Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Look at this. Tazama hii. Paul says in Corinthians. Paul anasema katika Korinto. A man comes in our midst. Mtu anakuja miongoni mwetu. And there is a prophecy for edification. Na pale kuna unabii kwa ajili ya kutujenga. And his sin is uncovered. Na dhambi zake hazijafunuliwa. Hajawekwa wazi. No, it's uncovered. His sin is uncovered. His sin. Yes. Dhambi zake, dhambi yake haija haijafunuli imefunikwa. No. It is uncovered. Nimesema hiyo, hii imefunuliwa, si ndio? Ama adi. Imefichuliwa. That's the yeah. Okay, sawa. So. He Imefu... sin is uncovered. If dhambi yake imefichuliwa, that man, huyo mtu will know this God here. And atajua kwamba kuna Mungu hapa. Leave this ones tunakutana mmoja kwa mmoja akifanya makosa. Acha neni na hii we meet head on with one who has sinned. Look at brother Branham. Mtazame ndugu Branham. When he's praying in discernment. Wakati anaomba katika upambanuzi. What does he say? Anasema nini? I want people who don't know me and they know I don't know them. Ningependa nikutane na watu ambao hawanijui na wanajua ya kwamba siwajui. Because that's the only way they can say if this man knows. Hiyo ndiyo njia What I am hiding. Watajua ya kwamba I have never told anybody. <laughs> Watajua kwamba huyu mtu anajua kila ambacho nimeficha na sijawahi ambia mtu. 
That must be God. That's the God I'm looking to have to be in Tepa. And I know he will come. I believe it. That's why Paul tells us here. He has set some in the church. What has you set you in Tepa to be? Now I'm looking beyond natural assistance. Sasa natazamia ama natafuta zaidi ya usaidizi wa kawaida. Because if I give you money, maana ningekupatia pesa. I give you food, nikupatia chakula, I give you clothing, nikupatia mavazi. Is for this gangster. Yeah. <laughs> Ni kwa ajili ya huyu jambazi whose value is only one dollar. Ambaye thamani yake ni dola moja. But if I can give you something for your soul. Lakini nikiweza kupatia jambo kwa ajili ya nafsi yako. That is more help. Hiyo ni msaada zaidi. I hope you are getting me now. Because all the problems you see in people in this gangster starts in the soul. Shida zote unazoona juu ya watu katika huyu jambazi zinaanzia katika nafsi zao. Change the inner man, the outer man automatically is changed. Badilisha yule mtu wa ndani moja kwa moja mtu wa nje anabadilishwa change the outer man the inner man remains the same he will just go back to the inner man again basi badilisha mtu wa nje mtu wa ndani akibakia vile atarudia yule mtu wa nje atarudia yule mtu wa ndani and that is the purpose of preaching the gospel na ndio kusudi la kuhubiri it is the power of god unto salvation ni nguvu za mungu kwa ajili ya wokovu that's why paul is trying to show us here ndio paul anajaribu god has set some in the church mungu ashaweka wengine kanisani first apostles kwanza mitume second Only prophets. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know. Wajua. Prophets as we saw manabi vile tulivyoona are not for tellers si wa kunena mambo kimbele no Apana. these are for tellers hawa nachukua neno lililopo na kuweka kwa njia sahihi by what is already there wanavuviwa kwa kile kilichoko but they put it in a way lakini wanaliweka katika njia it helps the person nasaidia mtu yule now that me teachers wa kwanza watu wa watatu ni walimu workers of miracles wanao tena miujiza tongues Dimi. interpretations na tafsiri but ask a question are all apostles je wote ni mitume are all prophets je wote ni manabii are all teachers wote ni walimu are all workers of miracles wote ni wakutenda miujiza hapana no. hallelujah hallelujah but remember lakini kumbuka this is the body of christ who ni mwili wa kristo This people is the body of Christ. Ha watu ni mwili wa Kristo. Set in order by himself. Wakiweka katika wakiwekwa katika utaratibu na yeye. God setting in the body. Mungu akiweka katika mwili. Not pastor setting in the body. Si mchungaji akiweka katika mwili. God. Mungu. Yeah. Those who are set by man, waliowekwa na mwanadamu, they are the ones who end up becoming gods. Ndio wanaishia kuwa miungu. Because God cannot make a mistake to set you in the body knowing 10 years to come you will become a god. Maana Mungu hata kuweka katika mwili akijua ya kwamba baada ya miaka 10 utafanyika kuwa Mungu Mungu. That's why I came to that question. Ndio akakaja kwa hilo swali. That's why I came to that question. Ndio nikaja kwa hilo swali. If God really set ministers in this message. Kama hakika Mungu aliweka wa huduma katika ujumbe huu. The way he did in the book of Acts. Bila alivyofanya katika kitabu cha Matendo. Why did they fail? Mbona walishindwa? Something wrong somewhere. Kuna kasoro mahali. Too much assumption. Kukisia zaidi. As I said, kama vile we say, want to go beyond anointing now. Tungependa twende zaidi ya upako. We want to have the seal inside. Tunataka tuwe na muhuri pale ndani. Which nothing can remove that seal. Ambapo kusiwe na jambo lolote litaondoa huo muhuri. One of the attributes of the Holy Ghost was. Moja wa sifa za Roho Mtakatifu When you are sealed in, the devil is sealed out. Unapotiwa muhuri ndani, shetani amewekwa muhuri nje. The only thing you can do is grieve the Holy Spirit. Jambo la pekee unaweza fanya ni kumhuzunisha Roho Mtakatifu. And then we come to the message church and its condition. Na ndio tunafikia ujumbe kanisa na hali yake. As long as you have the character of a dove of, of a lamb. Muradi una tabia ya mwana kondoo. You have the nature of a lamb. Una asili ya mwana kondoo. The dove abides. Huwa atakaa pale. When you take on the nature of a wolf. Unapochukua asili ya mbwa mwitu. The dove flies away. Huwa anaruka na yeye. And the ghost and hangs on a tree. Na anaenda anakaa katika mti. Waiting for you to come to the nature of a lamb. 
the prophet has explained everything this is showing me somebody even with the Holy Ghost can do wrongs rather prove that prophet says I do mistakes since the rising of the sun to the setting and I must confess them mimi ufanya makosa tangia kuchomoza kwa jua na kutua kwa jua na lazima niyerekebishe that's my prophet I believe him namuamini hallelujah hallelujah he's teaching me ananifundisha even one day God was allowing the prophet to do some things to be a lesson mungu alikuwa anamruhusu nabii atende mambo fulani kwa funzo kwetu how can a holy ghost filled man yawezekanaje mtu aliyejana roho mtakatifu do the worst thing that can ever be done. Atende jambo mbaya zaidi ambalo naweza tendeka. Ask me the worst. Niulize baya ni lipi? Prophet will tell you. Nabii angekwambia. I would rather be with a drunkard anytime than Ni heri niwe na mlevi wakati wowote kuliko a liar, eh? Kuliko muongo. And he is lying. Na yeye anasema uongo. That is my prophet. Huyo ni nabii wangu. What was God showing me? Mungu alikuwa ananionyesha nini? That I can also do the same thing. Na mimi naweza fanya jambo lile lile. And when I do it, ninapofanya, I should repent and cry to God na, like he did. Napaswa kutubu na mlilie Mungu kama vile alivyofanya. That's why I'm raising this concept. Na ndio nafuta wazo hili. A Holy Ghost filled man. Mtu aliyejana na Roho Mtakatifu can do wrong. Hawezi fanya kosa. Paul tells me. Paul ananiambia, in me there are two laws. Ndani yangu kunazo sheria mbili. Is that scripture? Yeah, ni maandiko. Why is Jesus on the mercy seat? Mbona Yesu yu katika kiti cha rehema? Making intercession. Akifanya uombezi. It's because of your wrongs and my wrongs. Ni kwa sababu ya makosa yako na makosa yangu. But we must make use of that mercy. Lakini lazima tutumie hizo rehema. If you don't make use of them now. Kama hauzitumii sasa. When he leaves that and becomes a judgment seat. Atakapoondoka katika hicho kiti aende katika kiti cha hukumu. Brother sister you will have nothing to do. Ndugu dada hautakuwa na jambo la kufanya. Don't wait to repent tomorrow. Usingojee kutubu kesho. Repent today. Tubu leo. Today Leo. is the day of salvation. Today Leo. that we are the voice of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we see Paul here. Paulo dealing with this church here. How God had given them every gift. Vile Mungu alikuwa amepatia kila kipao. You read that 1 Corinthians chapter 1. Unaposoma hiyo Corinthians Yeah, 1 Corinthians chapter 1. Somewhere he says. Mali fulani anasema. You were never behind in any gift. They had all the gifts. Walikuwa na karama zote. But Paul saw them misusing them. Lakini Paulo aliwaona wakizitumia vibaya. Yet it was a God given blessing. Hata hivyo zilikuwa baraka aliyotoa na edify the church. Kujenga kanisa. With us. Na kwetu. Our problem is. Shida yetu ni. Is not misusing. Si kuzitumia vibaya. Is rejecting. Ni kuzikataa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But Paul says. Na Paulo anasema. Covet earnestly the best gifts. Tamanini sana karama zilizo bora. And let me show you a more excellent way. Na hebu ni waonyeshe njia iliyo bora zaidi. Because the God who gives us the gifts, maana Mungu anatupatia karama, he demands us to use them the right way. Anatuhitaji tuzitumie katika njia iliyo sahihi. And I believe that's where the problem lies. Na naamini hapo ndio shida ilipo with our church. Na kanisa letu and enemies of the church. Na kanisa lolote la ujumbe. Those who have the gifts, wale walio na karama, don't know God's provided way of using them. Hawajui njia iliyo peano na Mungu kuzitumia maybe the motive objective and intention is wrong to start with huenda lengo lao kusudi lao na nia yao ndio makosa kuanzia and god cannot make a mistake na mungu hawezi fanya makosa is like a child crying for a razor ni kama mtoto anayelilia wembe if you love that child ukimpenda mtoto huyo however much he cry will you give him the razor haijalishi Haijalishi unampenda kiasi gani utampatia wembe? Because you know the danger of the rain. Maana unajua hatari za wembe. And some of us the gifts if God gave us. Na baadhi yetu zile karama kama Mungu angetupatia. He knows the danger. Anajua ile hatari. 
And remember God does not respect you with a gift. Nakumbuka Mungu akuheshimie ukiwa na karama. When Moses wakati Musa was told speak to the rock. Alipoambiwa nenea mwamba. And the God na Mungu told him speak to the rock to give forth its waters. Akamwambia unenee mwamba utoe maji. And Moses smote the rock. Na Musa akaugonga mwamba. Water came out. Maji yalitoka. Israel drank. Israeli wakakuja. Rejoice. Wakafurahia. And forgot the problem. Wakasahau shida. But the Moses was in trouble with God. Lakini Musa alikuwa mashakani na Mungu. Brother Brana. Ndugu Brana. When he went to South Africa. Alipoenda Afrika Kusini. I've been called the prophet. Nabii aliyedhibitishwa. With a pillar of fire. Akiwa na nguzo ya moto. Na Mungu anamwambia. You should go to Durban. Unapaswa kwenda Durban. From Johannesburg. From Johannesburg. Kutoka Johannesburg. But they tell him no. Lakini wakamwambia hapana. We are preachers. Sisi ni wa ubiri. We have planned for your meeting. Tushapangia mikutano yako. In the south in Cape Town. Unaenda Cape Town. So he listened to who? Basa akasikiza nani? Preachers. Wa ubiri. Holy Ghost ministers. Wa ubiri walio jaro mtakatifu. Leading a prophet. Wakimuongoza nabii. From the will of God. Kutoka kwa mapenzi ya Mungu. He paid for it dearly. Alilipia kwa ukali kwa uchungu. That's why I keep saying. Ndio mimi daima usema, never follow a brother or a sister doing something unless you are convinced it is the will of God. Usiwai, usithubutu, usiwai thubutu kumfuata ndugu ama dada akifanya kitu usiposhawishika kwamba anachotenda ni mapenzi ya Mungu. Because sababu if he's punished you will be punished with him. Akiadhibiwa utaadhibiwa pamoja naye. Be convinced. Ushawishike. The Holy Ghost is leading you. Ya kwamba Roho Mtakatifu anakuongoza. That's why the church in the book of Acts. Ndio kanisa katika kitabu cha Mathayo. They were not forcing one another. Hawakuwa nalazimishana. Every apostle was going the way he is led. Kila mtume alikuwa anaenda njia ambayo ameongozwa. And uh, if they differed like Paul and Barnabas. Na wakitofautiana kama Paulo na Barnabas. Barnabas never said Paul. Barnabas kusema Paulo he has fallen asha anguka and Paul never said na Paulo akusema Barnabas is fallen Barnabas ameanguka no 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 each one knew kila mmoja alijua they were free walikuwa huru in the liberty katika uhuru God had set them free ambao Mungu amewaweka hallelujah hallelujah and when you have the holy ghost na ukiwa na roho mtakatifu he makes you free anakuweka huru So if you have a gift basi ukiwa na karama don't use it usiitumie unless god is leading you isipokuwa mungu akuongoze but abraham and abraham was told by god ndugu brana aliambiwa na mungu go and warn neville nenda ukamuone neville this what the story of our brother from malawi if you don't know hii ndio ilimwaribu ndugu yetu kutoka malawi kama amjui god the god's people are going every time to neville prophesy over me maana kila wakati watu walikuwa wanaenda kwa neville nitolee unabii niambie kuhusu mambo haya was gifted Mchungaji Neville alikuwa na karama to ili ya kutoa unabii angenena katika lugha na kila muamini alikuwa anaenda pastor mchungaji prophesy over me ndio nitolee unabii kuhusu jambo fulani the brother must all go and tell him ndugu brother akaambiwa nenda umwambie let him not be doing that lest he become a false prophet asiendelee kutenda hivyo asija kama mnabii wa uongo and if you have a gift na kama unayo karama that helps people's lives inayosaidia maisha ya watu you must be very careful unapaswa kujihadhari sana people's pressures can remove you from the will of god shinikizo za watu zinaweza kuondoa kutoka kwa mapenzi ya Mungu I am repeating that Ninarudia hiyo If you have a gift kama unayo karama that God is using ambayo Mungu anaitumia to help people kusaidia watu brother or sister ndugu ama dada Even a gift of healing hata karama ya uponyaji is not just to lay hands on any man Si ya kuwekelea mikono juu ya kila mtu Paul said somewhere don't lay your hands on quickly on any man Paul akasema usiwe wa haraka kuwekea mikono yako kwa kila mtu The prophet says Nabii anasema God can put a curse on somebody Mungu anaweza weka laana juu ya mtu fulani You try to remove it you get in trouble with God Ukijaribu kuiondoa unaingia katika shida na Mungu How many have read that quote Wangapi washasoma hiyo nukuu It is there Iko pale But what are we doing sometimes Lakini unafanya nini wakati mwingine Kila mtu akitana unakimbia mbio Everybody who calls upon you you lay your hand upon Let me tell you there is a preacher Hebu nikwambie kuna yeye muhubiri was preaching one time. Aliyekuwa na ubiri wakati fulani. I think I was I must have been the one translating or what. Na huenda alikuwa ni mimi. Niliyekuwa namtafsiria sijui. It was in early 90s. Ilikuwa miaka 90. He was preaching on he has made us kings and the priests. Alikuwa na ubiri juu ya ashatufanya kuwa makuhani na wafalme. I think he might have been preaching in English and in Swahili possibly. Natumai alikuwa na ubiri katika Kiswahili. 
Then he reached somewhere he said, Akafika mahali akasema, He has made us kings. Asha tufanya wafalme. And we are ruling over sp- I don't know what they say, demons or spirits. Na akasema, tunatawala juu ya mapepo na dhani na baro. Sijui? Which don't believe a preacher can marry more than one wife. Ambazo wazi ubiri ya kwamba mubiri ya naiza, mutu ya naiza uwa zaidi ya mke mmoja. Mubiri. Mubiri ya naiza uwa zaidi ya mke mmoja. <laughs> he's ruling, he's calling spirits. Anazita ro. Which say, ambazo nasema, a preacher cannot marry more than one wife. Mubiri awezi. No, no, yeah, yeah. Mubiri awezi uwa zaidi ya mke mmoja. No, that is the Holy Spirit. Wajua yu nirom takatifu. He's the one who says that. But he's calling his spirits. Lakina nasema ni maroho. So he's ruling over them. Basi anatawala juye hizo roho. I said, if you bring me a prostitute, I will lay hands and pray for her. Na nika asema, ukiniletea kahaba, nita muwekele ya mikono. But this preacher, I can't lay hands on you. Siwezi muwekele ya mikono. That's blasphemy. Hayo ni makufuru. That's blasphemy. That's blasphemy. That's why we must be careful sometimes in addressing things. Tunapaswa kujihadhari tunapoyashughulikia mambo fulani. That's why you see God has put these gifts there. Ndio naona Mungu ameweka hizi karama pale. The word of knowledge. Neno la maarifa. To do what? Kufanya nini? To uncover the source of the problem. Kuweza kufichua na kuonyesha ni chanzo cha ile shida. Sometimes we are dealing with generational spirits. Wakati mwingine tunashughulikia zile roho za 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 kizazi. Don't underestimate Pentecostals. Usi wakadi, usi wa, usi, usi wa when they say about general uh, generation curses. We have generational curses. And they are following people. Brother Branham himself. He said. Sometimes when he used to have temper. Wakati mwingine alipokuwa na asira kali it was coming from is it the irish origin ilikuwa inatokana na wale that is a whole prophet watu wa ireland huyo ni nabii mwenyewe and he can trace where this temper disturbing him is coming from na angefuatilia apate hiyo asira iliyokuwa inamsumbua ilikuwa inatoka wapi he would say i know the cure of the sickness angesema najua tiba ya ule ugonjwa but i want to know the cause lakini ningependa kujua chanzo because maana somebody can be sick mtu anaweza kuwa mgonjwa anasema you can you remember that woman who committed adultery wakumbuka yule mwanamke aliyefanya uasherati when her husband was in world war is it world war 1 or 2 wakati mume wake alikuwa katika vita vya pili vya ulimwengu and this woman na huyu mwanamke was sick alikuwa mgonjwa and i think she was a sunday school teacher even na tumai alikuwa mwalimu wa shule ya jumapili or robert prayed for her or robert akamwombea no healing hakuna uponyaji i think tommy hicks whoever it was na tumai tommy hicks ama yote yule no healing hakuna uponyaji now she came to barabara so sasa akamjia ndugu branham now reaching there sasa kufika pale but the branham now ndugu branham sasa you know she i think it was an interview not the meeting it was an na interview tum, na tum, na tumai alikuwa mahojiano and by the gift god had given him na kwa ile karama mungu alikuwa amempatia in that interview katika ile mahojiano god gives him a vision mungu akampatia ono tell his sister akamwambia dada there is something you must make right kuna jambo lazima usaidie what is it ni nini basi you know wajua i can see you naweza kuona when your husband was in world war 2 wakati mume wako alikuwa alipokuwa katika or what about this or what about this i can see you naweza kuona with a man ukiwa na mwanaume in a vehicle katika gari number plate so and so eh eh sajili yake ni namba fulani and you are crossing some almost knocked by the train na unavuka mnavuka mahali karibu mgongwe na gari moshi and you went there somewhere into a room na mkaenda katika chumba fulani now remember sasa kumbuka nobody knows this hakuna mtu aliyejua jambo hilo These are heart secrets. Hiyo ni siri ya moyoni and she was in church like Tepa. Na alikuwa katika kanisa kama Tepa. Pastor never knew it. Mchungaji hakuwaijua. She looked to be holy. Alionekana kuwa mtakatifu. Just, what am I telling you brothers? Najaribu kuambia nini ndugu wa madada? Let us be sincere with God. Hebu tuwe wanyoofu mbele za Mungu. Don't live to appear good before men. Usithubutu kuonekana mzuri mbele ya wanadamu. Conscious there's an eye watching. Umakinika ya kwamba kuna jicho linakuona. That's the greatest. Hilo ndio jambo kuu zaidi. I'd rather be kicked out by men but not be kicked out by God. Heri ni ufukuzwe nje na wanadamu lakini si Mungu. Then what did he say? Basi alisema nini? He says, don't tell nobody. 
Akamwambia usiambie mtu yeyote. Because it was true. Maana ilikuwa ni kweli. And she's the one is the one who gave you that child you are having. Na ndiye alikupatia huyo mwanaume ndiye alikupatia huyo mtoto uliye naye. That was where the devil was holding her denying her healing. Hapo ndio shetani alikuwa anamshikilia kumnyima uponyaji wake. Could that be also among us and we don't know? Yawezekana kuwa miongoni mwetu na hatujui. Okay. <laughs> now she say she was told now this is the way to make right. Sasa akaambiwa hiyo ndio jii ndio jii ya kusahihisha mambo yote. Go. Enenda. Confess to your husband. Ukaungame kwa mume wako and take na uchukue uh, and uh, Yeah, go confess to your husband. Nenda uungame kwa mume wako. And I think something added on. Na kuna mambo aliongezea. Now, sasa she said, akasema, he will divorce me. Mume wangu atanitaliki. He will leave me. Ataniacha. The boy told her, Nabii akamwambia, you have to choose now. Lazima uchague sasa. Whether your husband will leave you or God. Kama mume wako atakuacha ama Mungu akuache. But lucky enough. Lakini vya kutosha, nzuri told her. Nabii akamwambia, Don't worry. Usijali. Go bring your husband. Nenda umlete mume wako. He has a similar thing to confess. Ana jambo kama hilo la kuungama la kukiri tena. She told the prophet, Akamwambia Nabii, Not my husband. Si mume wangu. I trust him. Nam nam namwamini sana. I want you to show how gifts can help us. Nataka nikuonyeshe vile karama zinaweza tusaidia. We need them brothers. Tuzihitaji wanu. We need them sisters. Tuzihitaji wadada. And this was not guesswork. Na hiyo haikuwa jambo la kukisia. Sister, dad, if you are not healed, kama hukuponywa, go and search in your life where you went wrong. Nenda uchunguze maisha ni mwako ni wapi ulikosea. Because you had told the prophet. Maana alikuwa amemwambia nabii. I confess that. Niliungama hiyo. He said. I, I, I confess to God. Akasema niliungama kwa Mungu. Oh, no. Nabii akamwambia hapa. You never wronged God. Huku mkosea Mungu. You wronged your husband. Ulikosea mume wako. Brothers and sisters. Wandugu na wadada. Repentance is not guesswork. Toba sio jambo la kukisia. Is not guesswork. Si jambo la kukisia. And is not yote niliyokosa unisamee. Waacha hiyo, hiyo ni mchezo. And it is not for all that have sinned God may you forgive me. Ndugu, unisamee makosa yote nimekukosea. Brother, forgive me all the mistakes I've done to you. Mchezo unafanya. That one is jokes. You are If just you have a clean conscience na kuambia uliongea hii uongo, ulitanganya hapa, ulifanya haulani hapa, it is telling you. Kama una dhamira one ka, by one. Kama una dhamira safi na kuambia you did this one here, you said here I lie, you did this one here, unaungama dhambi moja baada nyingine. Yeah. You are getting me. Jambo nanipata. Now, sasa, go call your husband. Nenda umuite mume wako. She went. Akaenda. Came with her husband. Akaja na mume wake. Then the husband. Alafu mume wake. She said, "Not my husband." Wajua sha sema si mume wangu. The gift goes into operation. Karama inaingia katika utendaji kazi. When you went to war, ali alipoenda vitani, I can see you. Naweza kukuona with another woman. Na mke mwingine. So all of them. Sasa wote wawili needed confession one to another walihitaji kuungama makosa yao mmoja kwa mwingine and then to their wives to the 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 man and the woman they sinned with alafu kwa wale wake na mume yule mume na mke ambao walikosea for god now to forgive them. ili mungu sasa awasamehe you can imagine that waweza wazia jambo hilo now Ororobas was anointed. Basi Ororobas alikuwa ametiwa mafuta. Whoever it was Tom Hicks must have been anointed. Na yule mwingine sijali ni nani Tom Hicks alikuwa ametiwa mafuta. And they prayed a prayer of faith. Na wakaomba omi la imani. But why could they discover this thing? Lakini mbona wasiweza wasingeweza kutambua jambo hili? Because kwa sababu it takes a gift. Inakarimu karama. You are getting now the importance of gifts in the church. Je, so we see here now. Yo, they give a word of knowledge. Inape, neno la marifa. Those are the people How ni watu? who can tell us events in our lives we don't know. Because that, that word of knowledge. Maana ni neno la marifa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it works always together with the word of wisdom. Na ufanya kazi pamoja na neno la hekima. The word of wisdom provides what should be done. Neno la hekima linapeana jambo la kufanyika. Even the way to be done 
God has to provide. Hata njia ya kufanyika jambo hilo Mungu lazima apeane. Prophet can tell us. Nabii asa tuambia maybe somebody is among us. Huenda mtu yuko miongoni miongoni mwetu. And maybe he is sick. Na huenda yeye ni mgonjwa. And maybe God through tongues. Na huenda Mungu kupitia lugha spoken they speak. Zinanenwa. They, they speak about that person. Zinanena kuhusu mtu yule. Get the interpretation. Alafu kuna patikana tafsiri. And he says, anasema, let him go and make right what he did wrong. Hebu aende asaiishe kila alichokosea. And the brother or a sister so and so, na ndugu ama dada fulani, lay hands on them. Amweke mkono and pray. Na aombe. He will be healed. Utaponywa. Not even pastor now. Hata si mchungaji sasa. I hope you are getting what I'm talking about. Natumai unapata kile ambacho unasema. Because it is a body. Maana ni mwili. It has many members. Una viungo vingi. The body is not passed alone. Mwili si mchungaji peke yake. Somewhere the body could reach. Mali fulani nabii angefika. And I say, na say me. Now lay your hands one on another. Sasa wekeaneni mikono mmoja kwa mwingine. And he prays. Na naomba. And people are Watu wanaponywa. Paul telling us. Paul akituambia. Convert these gifts tamanini hizi karama ame mpao and the best ones na zilizo bora and chapter 14 he says na sura 18 anasema that you may prophesy ili mkaweza kuutubu ama kutoa unabii now we have not spiritual gifts sasa tunazo karama tisa za kiroho we looked at the word of wisdom tukaona neno la hekima we looked at the word of knowledge tukaona neno la maarifa and most of the things uncovered by so called prophets in the bible was the word of knowledge na yale mambo mengi yaliyofichuliwa na wale wanaoitwa manabii katika biblia lilikuwa neno la maarifa is only brother branham ndugu who branham peke yake went beyond that alienda zaidi ya hiyo to have the ministry of the word kuwa na huduma ya neno that discerns the intents of the heart ambayo inapambanua makusudio ya moyo other prophets manabii wengine were using the word of knowledge walikuwa wanatumia neno la maarifa because Sababu, the word of knowledge neno la maarifa can tell you the origin of something leza kuambia asili ama chanzo cha kitu fulani you are getting me je mnanipata and alafu it may not tell you huenda halitakwambia your origin asili yako mwenyewe but brother branham's gift lakini karama ya ndugu branham of the son of man ya mwana wa adam god could show him a vision mungu angemuonyesha ono when you are back to a child wakati ulipokuwa mtoto mdogo and they see you come your life and it could trace na akuone ukikua katika maisha yako na afuatilie and it could trace your destination na afuatilie hadi kikomo chako That's why a man like Judas. Ndio mtu kama Judas. Jesus chose him knowing you will betray him. Yesu anamwonyesha hapana utanisaliti. He chose him. Ad, oh alimchagua ili amsaliti. But could not reveal him until the right time. Lakini hangeweza kumfunua hadi wakati uliofaa. And he could say he's a son of perdition. Na angesema ni mwana upotovu He could see up the destination. Na angeona hadi kikomo chake. Because that is the word. Maana ni neno. The word is Jesus. Neno ni Yesu. Knows the end from the beginning. Anajua mwanzo kutoka mwisho. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why we have had that gift only in three people. Na ndio tumekuwa na hiyo karama tu katika watu watatu. Elohim. Elohim. To Abraham. Hadi Abraham. Jesus. Yes. On earth here. Hapa dunia. Branham. Na Branham. Manu could turn you up back on the congregation. Mtu ambaye angegeuzia mgongo wake kusanyiko. Now that is beyond word of knowledge. Sasa hii zaidi ya neno la maarifa. Nobody can interpret that one there. Hakuna awezaye kufasiri jambo hilo. That's why our brothers cannot reach there. Ndio ndugu zetu hawezi. They are just burning themselves. Wanajichoma tu wenyewe. That is for ordained and predestinated. Hiyo ishateuliwa kimbele na kusudiwa kimbele. Are we together? Je, tuko pamoja? Then we see. Alafu tunaona. Word of knowledge. Neno la maarifa showing us the cause of something. Likituonyesha chanzo cha kitu fulani. That's what Anania used to pray for Paul. Hiyo ndio Anania alitumia kumuombea Paulo. He was shown. Alionyeshwa. Word of knowledge. Neno la maarifa. 
And many people try to tell us things about our lives they are using that. Na watu wengi ambao hujaribu kutuambia mambo kuhusu maisha yetu wanatumia hiyo. And they can tell you exactly your problem. Na wanaweza kuambia shida yako hakika. Even before you tell them. Hata kabla uambie. That is a gift of the word of knowledge. Hicho ni kipawa cha neno la maarifa. But sometimes they may have that gift. Wakati mwingine wanaweza kuwa na hicho kipawa. They may have that gift. Wana watakuwa na hicho kipawa. But may not have the word of wisdom. Na wasiwe na neno la la So they can not tell you the way out. Wasiwe na neno la hekima hata kiwaambia njia kuondokea jambo. Because the word of wisdom gives you the way out now. Maana neno la la hekima linakupatia njia kuondokea jambo hilo. And then it works with discernment of spirits. Na inafanya kazi na upamanuzi wa kiroho. Where even in religious world, mahali hata katika ulimwengu wa kidini, evil spirits can be talking. Roho za uovu zinaweza kuwa zinaongea. Things of God, mambo ya Mungu, till we believe the spirit of God. Hadi tuamini ya kwamba ni roho wa Mungu. Like that made following Paul and Silas. Kama yule msichana aliyekuwa anamfuata Paulo na Silas. These are men of God. Hawa ni watu wa Mungu. The way of life. Wakituonyesha njia uzima. And yet, na hata hivyo, was a wrong spirit. Alikuwa ni roho muovu. And then one time, alafu wakati fulani, Paul with discernment, Paulo akiwa na upambanuzi, says come out of her. Akasema o toka ndani yake was an evil spirit alikuwa ni roho muovu so even our church like ours hata katika kanisa kama letu people talking the truth people talking truth things watu wakiongea mambo ya ukweli you just make you seated haipaswi kufanya uketi tu you know mtakatifu huyo that one is the holy ghost let me tell you hebu nikwambie the devil can impersonate any of these gifts here shetani anaweza iga mmoja wapo wa hivi vipawa That's why we need the signing of spirits. Na ndio tunahitaji upambanuzi wa roho. Whether it is the spirit of God? Kujua kama ni roho wa Mungu or enthusiasm of man? Ama ni msisimko wa mwanadamu or spirit of the devil. Ama ni roho wa shetani. You know people can be so much enthusiastic. Wajua watu wanaweza kuwa na misisimko yao. I am quoting from going beyond the camp. Na nukuku katika ujumbe kwenda nje ya kamp. Robert says. Nabii anasema. Or people come to the prophets. Ama watu walio kwa mwanamjia nabii. People used to come to the prophet. People used to come to the prophet. Watu walikuwa wanamjia nabii. Brother Branham. Ndugu Branham. If you just say that is the Lord. Ukisema tu hivi asema Bwana. Mtoto wangu huji sick. Mtoto wangu ambaye ni mgonjwa. Will get healed. Ataponywa. Bwana Branham. We tell them I would love to say. Anasema ningependa kusema hivyo. It is lovely. Ni jambo nzuri. But I can't say it until he tells me. Lakini siwezi sema hadi aniambie. Because if I tell you. Maana nikuambia it may happen or it may not happen huenda itatendeka ama isitendeke and if it does not happen na kama haitatendeka the next time you are in a crisis wakati mwingine utakapokuwa katika hali ya dharura you don't know whether to trust me hautajua kama utanidhamini kwa sababu it happened maana haikutendeka so what does he say basi anasema nini can only say when he says it nitasema tu atakaponiambia ni says na anasema sometimes people get so much excited wakati mwingine watu huchangamuka zaidi enthusiastic wanakuwa na misisimko god wants something dan oh mungu anat yeah mungu anataka jambo litendeke they are enthusiastic that god wants something done wanasisimuka kwamba mungu anataka jambo fulani litendeke and it is good na ni nzuri so the bad thing si jambo mbaya they will say that says the lord basi watasema hivi asema bwana then it never happens alafu lisitendeke because sababu it was a good christian alikuwa ni mkristo mzuri with a good enthusiasm akiwa na msisimko mzuri but not waiting upon god but lakini asimgojee bwana so that one will tell us basi hiyo tatuambia discerning of spirits upambanuzi wa roho it knows what kind of spirit unajua ni aina gani ya roho is giving the message na papeana na peana ujumbe so there the devil cannot even hide basi pale shetani hata jificha even if he brings the word hata akilete neno That, that this man who has this gift atajua or this woman who has this gift huyu mwanaume ama mwanamke aliye na kipawa hiki can see that anaweza ona hiyo like brother branham kama ndugu branham with that gift akiwa na hicho kipawa he was sensitive to every spirit working in the congregation alikuwa anamakinika kwa roho yoyote ambaye alikuwa anafanya kazi katika kusanyiko sometimes he says wakati mwingine anasema when is one when is the god is casting a demon from some somebody wakati anaondoa pepo kwa mtu fulani say you can see a demon calling for reinforcement anasema anaweza ana, ona pepo fulani linaitisha nguvu za kupingana 
It is a gift. Nikipawa. It's not something you manufacture. Si jambo ambalo unajitengenezea. It's a supernatural working of God. Ni utendaji kazi wa kiungu to help mwenyewe. the church. Kusaidia kanisa. Be edified. Kujengeka. From the devil coming in among them. Kutokana na shetani kuingia miongoni mwao. And using the word of God. Na kutumia neno la Mungu. Shetani anaweza tumia neno la Mungu katika kanisa. Three revelational gifts. Vipawa vitatu vya ufunuo. Then we saw three a speech no three power gifts na tukaona vipawa vitatu vya nguvu that is the gift of miracles hicho ni kipacha cha miujiza utendaji wa miujiza then gifts of healing alafu karama za uponyaji uponyaji wa gonjo there are many ni nyingi many gifts karama nyingi za uponyaji and then alafu faith imani now this faith basi imani is not the faith we have as a christian si imani tulionayo kama mkristo because Sababu. you can't even be a christian without faith huwezi kuwa mkristo pasipo imani faith comes by hearing imani huja kwa kusikia hearing by the word ukusikia neno la mungu and as you grow in the knowledge of the word na unapokuwa katika maarifa ya neno the grace of god neema ya mungu more faith increases imani zaidi huongezeka you are getting me jema nipata now sasa That faith, hiyo imani is not the gift of faith. Si kipawa ama karama ya imani. Some people call it supernatural faith. Watu wengine wataiita imani ya kiungu. Or special faith. Ama imani maalum. And this faith, the imani is not with this person all the time. Haiko na huyu mtu kila wakati. I hope you are getting what I'm about. Tumeona pata kile ambacho nasema. But this faith God drops in this person's heart. Lakini imani Mungu anaiangusha katika moyo wa mtu huyu. In a time of crisis. Katika wakati wa dharura. And he speaks the word. Na ananena neno. Or he prays faith. Ama anaomba imani. And a supernatural takes place. Na yakiungu yanatendeka. And from there. Na kutoka pale. You could be surprised. Unaweza shangaa. This person. Huyu mtu. Back to the same person again. Anarudia kuwa yule mtu wa kwanza. Ask yourself this question. Jiulize swali hili. Here is a man goes before King Ahab. Hapa kuna mtu anaenda mbele ya mfalme Ahab. And tells Ahab. Nakumwambia Ahab. It won't rain until I call for it. Mvua haitanyesha hadi siku ile nitaita hiyo mvua inyeshe. <laughs> Ahab says, "Who are you?" Ahab bwana muuliza wewe ni nani? Eh? Hiyo? Wewe? And three and a half years no rain. Na miaka mitatu na nusu inapita pasipo mvua. I hope you are following me. Atumai unanifuata. Now, sasa This same man, mtu huyu huyu, after killing the prophets of Jezebel, baada ya kuua manabii wa Jezebel, he is running away for his life. Anatorokea maisha yake. Anatoroka kwa ajili ya maisha yake. What is wrong? <laughs> Basi kumetokea nini? Where is there? What is the difference? Shida imetokea wapi tofauti yake ni nini? Here he is strong before the king. Hapa ana nguvu mbele za mfalme. That says the Lord. Hivi asema Bwana. You are the one troubling Israel. Wewe ndio unaleta shida Israeli. But when he has a woman now. Lakini anapomsikia mwanamke sasa. What is the difference? Tofauti ni nini? The gift of faith. Ile karama ya imani. When it comes. Inapokuja. A brother or a sister. Ndugu ama dada. God can use them. Mungu anaweza watumia. To do something. Kufanya kitu. Supernatural. Cha kiungu. Till we are we are shocked. Hadi unashangaa. But don't be shocked. Lakini usishangae. The same person. Mtu yule yule. Sick. Akiwa mgonjo and praying for healing now. Na akihitaji uponyaji sasa. Akiomba muombe apate uponyaji. I hope you are getting what about. Na tumeona unapata kila mtu anasema. It is faith God drops in somebody. Ni imani ambayo Mungu anaweka ndani ya mtu. For a situation. Kwa ajili ya hali. And when the is addressed. Na wakati hiyo hali inashughulikiwa. That's gone. Hiyo inaisha. <clears throat> He cannot even go and apply it elsewhere. Hawezi kuitumia mali pengine. Look at brother Branham. Mtazame ndugu Branham. After the accident. Baada ya ajali. Billy Paul comes. Billy Paul anakuja. Daddy speak the word. Daddy nena tu neno. Eh? Says no. Anasema this is not for me. Hii si si kwa ajili yangu. It's for you. Ni kwa ajili yenu. For others. Kwa ajili ya wengine. But he says take my hand. Lakini anasema chukua mkono wangu. Lay it on meda. Iweke juu ya meda. And he prays for Meda. Na anaombea Meda. Meda goes to be healed. Meda anaenda anapona. He goes. Yeye anaaga. God's workings we must trace in the Bible properly. Utendaji wa Mungu lazima ufuatilie katika Biblia vizuri. 
It's a gift. Niki power. A gift is not for you. Kipawa si chako. Never try to think. Usiwai thubutu kuwazia. God gives you a gift for yourself. Ya kwamba mungu anakupa kipawa ukitumie kwa ajili yako mwenyewe. This is my right hand. Huu ni mkono wangu wa kume. When this hand I've cut here. Wakati huu mkono nimepata jeraha hapa. Can I help? Can it help itself? Je, unaweza jisaidia? Tulikuwa another hand to come. Utahitaji mkono mwingine uje. That's how the gifts are. Hivyo ndio karama ama vipawa vilivyo. The gift you have is for me. Karama uliyonayo ni kwa ajili yangu. And the gift I have is for you. Na karama niliyonayo kwa ajili yako. The gift I have is not for myself. Karama niliyonayo si kwa ajili yangu mwenyewe. You are getting it? Je, mnaipata? The gift of faith. Karama ya imani. Those men wale waume when situations arise wakati hali zinapoizuka that's why I was saying i wish god could raise them sometimes you know your brothers when they pray for needs ndipo nilikuwa nasema ndugu mungu ainue wa ndugu kuna wa ndugu wanapoombea mahitaji unajua pale si mchezo you know there there is no joke it's there it's beyond that brother zaidi ya ile ndugu is not just a christian praying si tum, but is a gifted brother praying si tum kristo anayeomba bali ni ndugu aliye na karama akiomba and those gifts operate that way na hizo karama zinafanya kazi kwa njia hiyo they go together with healings naenda pamoja na uponyaji as i said last sunday kama vile nilisema jumapili iliyopita between pastor katikati ya mchungaji with no gift of healing asiye na karama ya uponyaji and a sister na dada with the gift of healing aliye na karama ya uponyaji who would like you to pray for you ni nani ungependa akakuombe <laughs> eh hey, hey. <clears throat> you would like a gifted brother ni heri upate sister ndugu ama dada aliye na karama because god will use the gift maana mungu anatumia ile karama is not the man see you them to is god using the person ni mungu akimtumia mtu yule amen the benefits of receiving and the, or believing and receiving the gift zile faida za kupokea za kuamini na kupokea karama working of miracles utendaji wa muujiza This one I, I would give it so much to evangelists now. Hii nitapeana zaidi kwa evangelist. There are people so much gifted in that line. Hao ndio watu ambao wana karama zaidi katika hiyo njia. Evangelists. Mwingilisti. Because sometimes they preach very hard things. Maana wakati mwingine wanahubiri mambo magumu zaidi. Mahali ukicheza utapigwa mawe. A place where you if you joke you will be stoned. But God gives them miracles. Ila Mungu anawapatia miujiza. And they pray. Na wanaomba. And something happens. Na jambo latendeka. I don't know whether you have ever seen it even among us. Sijui kama umewahi kuiona hata miongoni mwetu. Mimi I observe things. Mi huwa natazama mambo wakati mwingi. I don't see a brother on the pulpit evangelizing. Sioni ndugu mibarani akifanya uinjilisti. Tell me. Niambie. Rain is coming. Mvua inakuja. Na imewaka. And it is so hot and a brother says nafunga hiyo mvua na ndugu oh there na mvua imetanda kabisa na ndugu anasema nafunga hiyo mvua and the rain stops until we are na mvua inakoma hadi tunamaliza which miracles are you looking ni muujiza fulani ni muujiza gani unatafuta you know you say we are looking which miracles are you looking wajua anasema natafuta muujiza isn't that a miracle ni muujiza gani unatafuta huo si muujiza mostly miracles go with the evangelists Haswa miujiza ambayo inaandaa kwa wanaoinjilisti. God has to back them. Maana Mungu lazima awaunge because mkono. of the opposition they are facing. Kwa sababu ya zile pingamizi ambao wanakubana na Mungu Switzerland. Dukubrana malienda Uswizi. You can imagine witches. Waweza wazia wachawi. Wa uh, shaking the tent where the prophet. <laughs> ambao walikuwa natikiza lile hema ambao nabii alikuwa. Unless God was to come down and back this man. Na kama Mungu hangeshuka kumuunga mkono, it's not a joke. Si jambo rahisi. You will find many times evangelists gifted in miracles. Utakuta mara nyingi wainjilisti wakiwa na karama za kutenda miujiza and healings. Na uponyaji because God wants to confirm it. Maana Mungu anataka adhibitishe to confirm his word. Kudhibitisha neno lake. After preaching the word. Baada kuhubiri neno. Sometimes people want to see. Wakati mwingine watu wanataka waone. Not just to be told believe God, believe God, believe God. Sisi tunakuambia aminini Mungu, aminini Mungu. People want to see. Watu wanataka waone. This God. Huyu Mungu. Who is alive? Aliye hai 
and God backs them when they pray and a sick man who has been prayed for by many preachers gets healed I want to follow that because because they have seen Amen. I don't know what they're getting what I'm about. We have people who will never believe God until they see signs. That's why I just knew that. These signs shall follow them that believe. They have to see a supernatural. Then they say, that is God now. You tell me people who are sailing with Paul. Niambieni watu waliokuwa wanapanda mashua ama merikebu na Paulo. And the storm comes. Na dhoruba ikaja. And Paul goes to pray. Na Paulo anaenda kuomba. And an angel appears to Paul. Na malaika anamtokea. And the storm is so strong. Na dhoruba ina nguvu zaidi. They are crying we are going to perish. Wanalia kwamba anaenda kuangamia. This man said don't be of don't worry. Huyu mtu anasema msiwe msiwe na wasiwasi. None of us will perish here. Hakuna yote atakayangamia hapa. The ship take explain to me. Nielezeeni basi. How the ship was to get what I looked and the perish and the people to be saved. Vile merikebu ingejawa na maji na izame na watu waokoke. Because if the ship sinks, it sinks with the people. Maana merikebu ikizama inazama na watu. I hope you are getting what I'm talking about. Na tumeona unapata kile ambacho nasema. Miracles. Miujiza. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He goes somewhere. Anaenda mahali. And then a serpent comes. Alafu nyoka anakuja. Coils on his hand. Anajikunja katika and mkono wake. Shakes it in the fire. Alafu anairusha katika moto. <laughs> you say these are the gods who have come. Watu wanasema ha ni miungu ambao wamekuja katika kisiwa chake. Mungu saying no don't worship us. Anasema msituabudu. Paulo anasema msituabudu. Muabudu ni Mungu. God said I shall restore. Mungu alisema nitarudisha. If you drink any deadly thing it won't hurt you. Mukikunywa chochote cha kufisha akita wadhuru. You go. Okay, acha nikwambie this is true. Hebu nikwa let me tell this hii ni kweli. Brothers, wandugu, come on this around. Come on yuko. Eh? Those who are with you in India, sister you are there. Wala ambao tulikuwa nao kule India. Dada wa journey from Hyderabad going to Williams home. You remember the man who was entertaining us in the hotel. Safari ya kwenda kutoka Hyderabad kwenda katika nyumba ya William. Yule alikuwa anatutumbuiza katika hotel. Ya ask the brothers who are in India. Waulize wa ndugu waliokuwa India. We got somebody. Tulipata mtu. I, I took that video on my, uh, 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 my iPad, I can show you. Nichukua hiyo video video katika kipara katalish changu utawaonyesha. Naweza waonyesha. Do you remember that you think? Akitenda mambo ambayo si ya kawaida. And it's not of God. Na yeye si wa Mungu. Eh? Imagine that must be that unless you have something higher. Wazia huyo mtu akitenda usipokuwa na jamu ambalo ni la juu kuliko hilo. Brother Branham went to India. Ndugu Branham alienda India. In India he says he was entertained in a temple by many religions. Akasema alitumbuizwa na dini nyingi. Yeah. Meza. And you know, with many religions. Na dini nyingi. And one of them I think it was the Hindu religion I don't know which one. Na moja yao ilikuwa ni ile dini ya Kihindu. Where a table was going round in there. Mali meza ilikuwekwa jua hewani ikaanza kuzunguka. A prophet. Nabi. <laughs> Brothers and sisters. Wa ndugu na wadada. We are living in an awful world. Tunaishi katika ulimwengu mpya. We mpaya. need God sometimes. So. Tuahitaji Mungu wakati okay. mwingine. And the table is going round. Na meza inazunguka. And then they come and tell him. Alafu anakuja anamwambia. No, somebody said, who can bring this table down? Mtu akauliza, nani anaweza kuangusha meza hiyo? And a strong man went. Na mtu wenye nguvu akaenda. Held the table. Akashika meza. Thrown away. Akarushwa na hiyo meza. Table continues round. Meza ikaendelea kuzunguka. Then the one was asked. Alafu ndugu Brahma akaulizwa. Can you stop it? Je, unaweza izuia uikomesha? He said no way. Akasema mimi siwezi. But the Jesus I serve. Ila Yesu ninamtumikia. Can stop this. Anaweza ikomesha mahali inazunguka. Then what happened? Alafu nilitokea nini? Then do it, let Jesus stop it. Basi tumia huyo Yesu aikomeshe. Then he goes. Alafu akaenda. I rebuke you in the name of the church. Na kukemea kwa jina la kanisa. Or holy church. Ama kanisa takatifu. The table, table continues. Meza ikaendelea kuzunguka. 
says Akasema I rebuke in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost Na kukemea katika jina la Baba na la Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu The table continues Then ikaendelea Then he says Alafu akasema I rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ Na kukemea katika jina la Yesu Kristo The table came down with a force broke itself down Meza ikaanguka chini kwa kishindo na ikavunjika What do you think those Indians knew? Unawazia wale wa Hindi walijua nini? Do you know what happened we have been told while in India? Wajua kulitokea nini tulipokuwa kule India tuliambiwa? What happened? Kilichotokea they stamped in his passport not to come back. Wali piga muhuri katika passport yake asirudi India tena. Because they knew this man coming back is destroying our religion. <laughs> Maana walijua huyu mtu akirudi kule India anaagamiza na haribu dini yao. Somebody was shipping the sun so many years. Mtu ambaye anaabudu jua miaka mingi zaidi and the priests of those who cannot help him. Na wale makuhani wa hilo taifa wangeza kumsaidia. But a man just touches. Lakini yule mtu anamguza tu. Praise a simple prayer. Anaomba ombi rais. Eyes opened. Macho yanafunguka. Shook the whole nation. Ikatikiza taifa lote. Miracles. Miujiza. I hope you are getting me. Tumeona unanipata. We need them. Twazihitaji. To show he is alive forever more. Uonyesha you hai hata milele. This what made people what this what made I, I don't know if it was or Roberts or or Billy Graham run away from Muslims. Hii ndio ilifanya sijui kama ni or Robert ama Billy Graham kutoroka waislamu. Because sababu when they were it was challenged when he was challenged. Maana alipopewa changamoto. Your Jesus is alive. Kama Yesu wako yuko. Let us see him do a miracle. Hebu tumuone akitenda muujiza. That was enough. Hiyo ilikuwa imetosha hivyo. Paul was saying. Nabii alikuwa anasema. He would have told them. Angewaambia, "Me I don't have that gift." Mimi sina hicho kipao. But we have brother who has it. Lakini naye ndugu aliye na. Hadiko the prophet there. Kama angeita nabii pale. They would have seen it. Wangeiona. That's why the church of the living God needs miracles. Ndio kanisa la Mungu aliye hai inahitaji miujiza. These are a power gifts. Hivi ni vipawa vya nguvu. God using men and women. Mungu akiwatumia waume na wake. Beyond human ability. Zaidi ya uweza wa kibinadamu. Beyond human strength. Zaidi ya nguvu za kibinadamu. That's why they cannot boast. Ndio hawezi wakajivuna. I have this. No. It is a gift of God getting out of the way. Ni kipawa cha Mungu wewe ondoka njiani mwa tete. God moving attended. through you. Na Mungu akitenda kukupitia. How I long to see men and women. Bila natamani kuwaona waume na wake. Who have these gifts in operation. Na hizo na hivyo vipawa tunafanya kazi. Our church here friends. What we need the church here. Ndio tunahitaji kanisani mwetu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even sometimes. Hata wakati mwingine. We just need one gift to manifest here. Tunahitaji kipawa kimoja tu kidhihirike. <laughs> Wenye dhambi wanatoroka. Even sinners will just run away. Watajua pale pale apakanyagiki. They will know that one is a no go zone. Because sababu we have people tunao watu who unless you catch them ready handed ambao kama hautawapata peupe penyewe they will never admit they have done hawatakubali makosa yao but when the gifts are there lakini karama zikifanya kazi <laughs> oh my jamani to just expose the whole thing zitafichua jambo kila that's kitu that's why nobody dared join the early church na ndio hakuna aliyethubutu kujiunga na kanisa kanisa la kwanza I don't I don't know whether even we had excommunications there. Sijui kama hata kulikuwa na watu kufukuzwa kanisani. That's the church I'm makos. looking for. Ndio kanisa ambalo natafuta. Where Anania and Safira comes. Mali Anania na Safira wakija. Speaks a lie. Wananena uongo. He dies. Wanakufa. And the prophet has said Na Nabii Asha asema Those days will come back. Hizo siku zitarudia tena. It is a prophecy in the Ni message. Ni Nabii katika ujumbe. And I'm praying to God. Na muomba Mungu. The return of those days. Kurudiwa kwa hizo siku. Kurudia kwa hizo siku. This will stop complaining. Ita komesha malalamishi. Mama Rino. Na kunungunika hapana. Pale ukikanyaga pale shauri yako. Watu watajua that that place if you step there it is up Because to you. Because this God in operation. Maana ni Mungu akifanya kazi. What is the book of Acts? Kitabu cha Matendo ni nini? God in operation. Ni Mungu akifanya kazi. Let me come to this other gifts now. Hebu nirudie hivi pa vingine. Thanks. Luga, interpretation na tafsiri prophecy na unabi, those are known as speech gifts vinaitwa vipawa vya usemi they speak vinanena and they speak under inspiration na vinanena chini ya uvuvio 
You find a believer, a brother or a sister, who has this gift, who has lived a consecrated life, and he or she is conscious how God can use them. Then in the service, maybe when the preacher is over, Sometimes it can even happen before the preacher preaches. It is in the messages of the prophets. It is their friends. Before, do you know church ages before Waju, it was preached? There was a prophecy in tongues. They were told set still. The spirit of Elijah, Moses, and Christ will be ministering in the tabernacle. So these people are attuned to the Holy Spirit. They are attuned. And they are sensitive. Because it is beyond them. It is not men and women now. This is what happened on the day of Pentecost. And then God just comes, he takes them over. It's not something man, the Pentecostals have manufactured once. Si jambo la kujitengenezea wa Pentecoste wanazile za kujitengenezea. But some of them have genuine. Some of Lakini them. baadhi yao wanazile ambazo ni alisi. Genuine. Za kweli. Then they are just stable, sober. Alafu wana makinika, wako na kiasi. Careful. Wanajiadhari. Letting God have his way. Wakiwacha wakiruhusu Mungu awe na njia yake. Spirit drops upon that Ala, person. Alafu roho inamjia yule mtu. Into tanks they go. Anaingia katika lugha Speak, speak, speaks. Ananena, ananena, ananena. And that's why any time they spoke in Brother Branham's meetings, na ndiposa wakati wote angenena katika mikutano ndugu Brana, he would pause. Angetulia to wait for the interpretation. Kungojea ile tafsiri yake. It's not like one preacher I saw I heard somewhere. Si kama mhubiri fulani aliyosikia mali fulani. My sister gets into tongues. Dada anaingia katika lugha. Then he begins saying he says they convict that sister that can't be the holy ghost alafu anasema mlazi mkomesha huyo dada huyo si roho mtakatifu i preach in the message muhubiri katika ujumbe but the brother i'm used to pause ndugu brother alikuwa anatulia kwa because you don't know maana hujui god is supernatural mungu ni wa kiungo these things are there haya mambo yapo then alafu the interpretation comes tafsiri ikaja it edifies people. Sometimes it warns people. It might warn us what we are preparing to do. Or what will happen tomorrow. And sometimes I had a brother, our brother was saying, it's like radio waves. That's how tongues and interpretation work. They get in a certain channel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The one who has interpretation. When that one is going on. This one is attentive just waiting. And they go in now. To bring the interpretation now. And all it is possible. The one who speaks in tongues. Paul says to pray that he may interpret. No. Because if the spirit of God will bring the interpretation and the congregation needs to be attentive. Needs to be reverent. Needs to have faith in God. Let me tell you friends. If we are a church of God. Listen to this word. This is what God gives me confidence. Jesus said. Every plant that the heaven, my heavenly father has not planted. Kila mmea ambayo baba wa mbinguni hajapanda itangolewa. Are we together? Tuko pamoja. But if he has planted, na kama ashapanda, he will water it. Atawunyunyizia maji. And nobody can pluck it. Na hakuna awezaye kuungoa. 
So a true church of God can never fail. Basi kanisa la kweli la Mungu kamwe haliwezi likashindwa. And I'm a witness. Na mimi ni shahidi. I've seen it over the years. Nishaona katika miaka ambayo imekuja. A wrong thing can even come in the church. Jambo makosa hataweza ingia kanisani. Doesn't mean God is defeated. No. Haimaanisha kwamba Mungu ameshindwa. Sometimes God allows it to test our faith. Wakati mwingine Mungu analiruhusu kujaribu imani yetu. To she you know Balaam coming before Israel kuona wajua balamu akija mbele ya Israeli the bible says bila nasema god allowed balam to see if they can stay with the prophet moses mungu alimruhusu balam aje kuona kama wa Israeli wangedumu na Musa kama nabii wao sometimes god even allows into the church wakati mwingine mungu anaruhusu jambo hilo kanisani to test our faith kujaribu imani yetu to test our virtues kwa kujaribu kanuni zetu even virtues of the holy ghost hata kanuni za roho mtakatifu they must be tested in you before they are sealed lazima zijaribiwe ndani yako kabla zitiwe muhuri oh my <clears throat> We need to know these things here. Tuahitaji kuyajua mambo haya. He that cometh to God. Yeye anayemjia Mungu must be chastened and tried. Lazima arudiwe na kujaribiwa. So, basi we must know these things here. Lazima tuyajue mambo haya. So in this channel here. Basi katika mkondo huu sasa Don't worry. Usijali. Me I'm never worried. Mimi daima sifadhaiki. One of the evidences of the Holy Ghost you are at rest. You are not Moja worried. moja wa ushahidi wa Roho Mtakatifu daima unatulia. Una... If you are a child of God, we don't have enough demons from hell to deceive you. Kama we ni mwana wa Mungu hatuna mapepo za kutosha kutoka kuzimu za kuweza kukudanganya. So why should you be worried? Bona basi wa ufadhaike. Instead of having worry you have blessed assurance. Balala kwa na mafadhaiko unahakikisho lenye baraka. The footsteps of the righteous are ordered of the Lord. Hatua za mwenye haki daima zinaongozwa na Mungu. He that began a good work in you Aliyeanza kazi nzuri ndani yako Is that pastor? Je, ni mchungaji? Is that church? Je, ni kanisa? Is he the prophet? Je, ni nabii? Who began a good work? Nani aliyeanzisha kazi nzuri ndani yako? Jesus. Ni Yesu. He is the author and the finisher. Ndiye mwanzilishi na mkamilishaji. That's why I normally say. Na ndio daima usema. Even if I'm preaching here. Hata kama nahubiri hapa. And then you hear me say something. Na unisikia nikisema kitu. And you find in your heart. Na ukuta moyoni mwako. You are not sure. Hauna uhakika. Don't just say because pastor said I mean time in hapana. Usiseme kwa sababu mjungaji alisema nifuate hapana. Give God time. Mpatie Mungu wakati. Maybe uenda I can error. Naweza kosea. But the Holy Ghost can't err. Bila Roho Mtakatifu hawezi kosea. And the God in correcting you. Na Mungu in correcting you. Ata, in, in correcting you. Ata, ata correct. In correcting you. God in correcting you atakurekebisha He will bring you to the word. Atakuleta kwa neno. And I'll show you where I went out. Na kukuonyesha mahali nilikosea. We must be flexible. Lazima tuwe We must be sensitive. Niwe makini makini. That's why me I don't like preaching by say semen hallelujah. <laughs> Na ndio mimi sipendi kuhubiri kwa kusema say hallelujah. Let it come out of you. Hiyo hallelujah itoke ndani yako. When you have revelation. Ukiwa na ufunguo. And you have seen. And you have stimulation. Na ukwa then you can say praise God. Useme Bwana asifiwe. Because I can speak a wrong thing na nikulazimisha kusema amina. Maana naweza sema jambo makosa and I force you to say to say amen. And the prophet never used that word many times even. Na nabii hako anatumia hilo neno mara nyingi hata hivyo. Say amen. Say, say sema amen. amina. No 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 no. no. <laughs> Stimulation of revelation is the one to move us. Msisimko wa ufunuo ndio unapaswa kutusongesha mbele. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we should not be worried friends. Basi hatupasi kufadhaika marafiki. If you are a child of God. Kama wewe ni mwana wa Mungu. Even meeting false gifts. Hata kukutana na vipao ambavyo ni makosa. Don't worry. Usijali. God will take care. Mungu atashughulikia. Gifts are designed they can even correct one another. Karama zimebuniwa kwa njia ya kwamba zinaweza rekebishana so no ama kusaishana. Hakuna haja kukaa mkutano hii karama ni ya Mungu au ya mwapana. Tuombe Mungu atashuka, atadhibitisha zake. There is no point of sitting meetings to discuss whether it is a gift of god or not god will will show which those which are his prophet says in one of the messages of once more nabii alikuwa anasema katika moja ya jumbe zake it is a curse 
It is a curse for any man to put his hand on the moving of the Spirit. God's work moves by itself. I have one principle. Mimi nina kanuni moja. Nikiona mahali tunasukuma mambo. If I see a place where we are pushing things. Najua anga kuna Mungu ndani. I know there is no God there. Mambo ya Mungu haisukumi. The things of God are never pushed. Inaendeshwa na Mungu mwenyewe tu. They are controlled by God himself. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. Ndiye mwanzilishi na mkamilishaji wa imani yetu. He is the chief shepherd and the bishop of your soul. Ndiye mchungaji mkuu na askofu wa nafsi zetu. Tell me if you are a child of God. Niambie kama wewe ni mwana wa Mungu. And me as a shepherd here. Na mimi kama mchungaji hapa. I am wrong. Nimekosea. Will the chief shepherd fail? Je mchungaji mkuu atakosea? Can God fail? I can fail. But Jesus cannot fail. He is your shepherd. Be sensitive to him more than me. No. Be sensitive oh, to him. I will send my angel before you. Be careful of my angel. Be careful of my angel. Not of my prophet. Not of my, Not of my pastor. Be careful of this angel. He will guide you. He will keep you in the way. He will bring you to the place I have prepared. That's the evidence of the Holy Ghost. He will lead you to your inheritance. Incorruptible. And defiled. Reserved for you in heaven. We are going in supernatural leadership now. We are going beyond church leadership now. Church has three kinds of believers. But the mystic body of Christ has only one group of believers. And you don't join it, you are baptized by the Holy Ghost. And even if the church fails, the mystic body cannot fail. In the church of Jesus, Judas was there to the last day. But in the heavenly church, we don't don't have Judas. We don't have the unbelievers. He's in touch of the firstborn. Who have their names in heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why I'm never worried. Even if you cheat me, I'll just go on my knees. I'll get you ready handed. Those who have dealt with, they know how I do things. I will allow you to do things. Nitakuruhusu you cheat me properly but the one I'm serving lakini una namtumikia I always piwanga mbona naambia Mungu daima I kneel down I tell God God that is your church Mungu huyo ni mtoto wako no that is your church hilo ni kanisa lako that is your heritage huo ni urithi wako protect it ulinde and I sleep na nalala but he that keeps Israel shall not slumber. That's the confidence I have. All these years since I became pastor. People know me have never chased even preachers from the church. No. They just went themselves. I don't believe in chasing them. Mimi si I believe to bring Jesus on the scene. Na amini kumleta Yesu jukwani. Then he'll do the job himself. Yeye atafanya kazi mwenyewe. Because if I chase I could chase even the true one. Maana nikuwafukuza nitafukuza hata wa kweli. If you are in the church of Jesus. Kama ungekuwa katika kanisa la Yesu. And you are told between Peter and Judas. Na uambiwe kati ya Petro na Judas. Who is the true believer? Nani aliyemwaminiwa wa kweli? Jesus wants to go to Jerusalem? Yesu anataka aende Jerusalem? No! Hapana. Ma cannot go there. Where is he end up pale? That's Peter. We are in Petro. Judas saying amen. Judas akasema amina. Unaweza enda. Jesus is arrested? Yesu anashikwa. Peter? Petro? We know that he was carrying a sword. Tunajua saa alikuwa amebeba upanga. Remember he aimed the head. Kumbuka alilenga kichwa. But he missed it. Lakini akakosa. Judas was there. Judas alikuwa pale. I think I, I think I think yeah I think he, was, he had gone he had gone that time. Alikuwa ameenda. If you look the works of this man. Ukitazama kazi za watu. You know this man. Za huyu mtu. You say you know something wrong somewhere. Ungesema kuna kasoro mahali. But Jesus had told him. Ila Yesu alikuwa amemwambia. 
The devil has been wanting to sift you. Shetani amewataka ametaka kuwapepeta ninyi nyote. But I've prayed for you. Lakini nimewaombea. Let me give you one of the evidences of the Holy Ghost at his heart. Hebu niwapatie mmoja wa shahuda za Roho Mtakatifu ambao ni ngumu. Jesus Yesu praying saying Akiomba kisema Father Baba sanctify them Watakase by the truth kwa ukweli they word is true Neno lako ndio kweli and for their sake Na kwa ajili yao I sanctify myself Najita najiweka wakfu mimi mwenyewe na sanctify Spirit of Christ in you Roho wa Mungu ndani yako will make you sanctify yourself because of the brethren Atakufanya ujitakase mwenyewe kwa ajili ya wandugu because one of the evidence one of the fruits of the holy ghost is the spirit of christ in you maana moja ya tunda matunda ya roho mtakatifu ni roho mtakatifu ndani yako sometimes we do let me say things that god will judge us wakati mwingine watu tunafanya mambo ambayo hebu niseme mungu anatuhukumu me i'm responsible for the word mimi nawajibika kwa ajili ya neno sometimes you go to correct a brother wakati mwingine unaenda kurekebisha ama kusaisha ndugu ama dada have you first prayed for them je kwanza umewaombea or you are parking quotes nabi alisema nabi alisema ama unabebana tu na manuku the prophet said the prophet said he that thinketh he standeth yeye ajidhaniaye kwamba amesimama let him take heed basi azingatie asija kaanguka Paul even warns hata paul anaonya galatians 6:1 wa galatia 6:1 when a brother is overtaken ndugu anapolemewa katika jambo fulani you are spiritual enyi mlio wa kiroho god in the spirit of meekness muendee katika roho wa upole na unyenyekevu na tukiwa wakali lakini sisi we go there when we are god have mercy on us na mungu akaturehe that is not spirituality huo si that is carnality we need deliverance ila ni mambo ya kimwili tuahitaji ukombozi Sometimes the people who are wrong are better than some of us. Wakati mwingine wale ambao wamekosea wako bora kuliko baadhi yetu ambao tunawaendea. Msifikie Roho Mtakatifu ni kudai. Brother I am full of the Holy Ghost. Watch here. Don't think the Holy Ghost is just claiming brother. The Holy Ghost is full a, of the Holy Ghost intercessor. Roho Mtakatifu ni muombezi. He stands in the gap. Anasimama katika pengo. Until your brother is delivered. Hadi ndugu yako akombolewe. Sister is delivered. Dada akombolewe. You can do that. Kama uweze fanya hivyo. Shut up. Nyamaza. We must get to, get to business. Lazima tuingie katika kazi ya Mungu. That's why many preachers starting with pastors ndio sababu wengi wawahubiri kuanzia na wachungaji who corrected god's children ambao lijaribu kusaisha watoto wa Mungu wrongly kimakosa they ended up in the same sin waliishia katika dhambi ile ile may god have mercy on me na Mungu anirehemu mimi i don't want that way sitaki njia hiyo i said last time brother branham Nikasema wakati huo mwingine ndugu Branham was in the church preaching. Alikuwa kanisani akihubiri. And a young man and a young woman were kissing one another in church. Na kijana mvulana na msichana walikuwa wanabusiana katika kanisa lile lile alikuwa anahubiri. I don't know what you would have done. Sijui wewe ungefanya nini. And the spirit tells him what you say shall be that. Na roho akamwambia utakachosema kitawapata. He said I forgive you. Akasema na wasamehe. Did he say after resurrection? Je, hakusema baada alisema baada ya ufufuo. Did he say? Je, hakusema the sins you remit. Dhambi ambazo unaondoa. Not the sins God remits. Si dhambi ambazo Mungu anaondoa. You have power to remit. Una nguvu za kuondoa dhambi. Shall be remitted. Zitaondolewa. I told you we are now climbing higher. I have enough weapons. Nina silaza kutosha in this war to fight. Katika hili neno tukupigana nazo. The church must be delivered. Kanisa lazima likombolewe. From peace of temper. Katika roho za asili. Anger. Na wrath. Na na holier than thou. The Ka church must be delivered. Kanisa lazima likombolewe katika roho za asira, katika roho za ghadhabu na kuwa mtakatifu kuliko mwingine. Lazima likombolewe. 
That's why I want these gifts in the church. You don't know Na what you want. Karama because some people, sometimes you think they are holy. Mutashanga. Maana kuna baadhi ya watu nafikiria kwa ama ni watakatifu, you will be surprised. They will, will be, be exposed. Watafichuliwa. That's the church I'm looking for. Hili ondi wakanisa natafuta. And I know God will give it to me. Na najua mungu atanipatia. If he has not failed me all these years. Kama hajawai nikosesha hii miaka yote. I believe na amini, we shall have it. Tutakuwa nalo. I have faith and confidence in that. Na nina imani na ujasiri ndani yake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why sometimes we need tanks in the church. Na ndio wakati mwingine tunahitaji lugha kanisani. A brother bursts into tongues. Ndugu anaingia katika lugha into the heavenly language. Anaingia katika lugha ya kimbinguni. And maybe a sister goes in the same dimension. Na huenda dada anaelekea mwenendo mwingine kwa hiyo. Praise the interpretation. Anatuletea tafsiri yake. Then the church is edified. Ndio kanisa linajengwa. We are warned. Tunaonywa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The gift of prophecy. Karama ya unabii ya kuutubu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The gift of prophecy unabi, is speaking inspired words. Ni kunena maneno yaliyovuviwa that edify somebody. Ambayo yanajenga mtu fulani. I think brother Mware. Natumai ndugu Mware, just allow me to use these words. Niruhusu nitumie maneno haya. Do you know the first person who spoke about me being the pastor or let me say the one god used was brother mwari wajua mtu wa kwanza ambaye mungu alimtumia kunena kuhusu mimi kuwa mchungaji ama ni hebu nisema alikuwa ni ndugu mwari god just him mungu alimtumia because there's a decision he had made maana kuna uamuzi ambao alikuwa amefanya and me i had made the same decision nami pia nilikuwa nimefanya uamuzi huo huo But now lakini sasa you know we were living together in Riruta wajua tulikuwa tunaishi tukiishi we were neighbors pamoja kule Riruta tulikuwa majirani so he had come to visit me basi alikuwa amekuja kunitembelea so he was escorting him back basi nilikuwa na msindikiza akirudi kule alikuwa anaishi then he tells me brother weekly hapa kaniambia ndugu weekly don't do like what i've done usifanye jinsi nimefanya maybe god has a work for you huenda mungu ana kazi kwa ajili yako now i've not told him what i'm planning basi sijamwambia kile ambacho napanga kufanya And he is telling me against what I'm planning. Na ananiambia jambo kinyume na yale ambao napanga. Tell me now. Niambieni sasa. If you are the one what will you say? Kama ungekuwa ni wewe ungesema nini? That's what to me let me give you as a few testimony before I close. Nina hebu niseme jambo hili kabla nimalizie. When you see me standing here. Unaponiona nikisimama hapa. Some statements have been made. Some statements Bukuna mambo, have been made mambo fulani yashatajwa by people na watu without knowing what they were talking pasipo kujua kile ambacho alikuwa anasema but me like, i knew what i'm talking lakini, they knew what it was meaning lakini mimi nilijua nilijua kile alichokuwa anamaanisha because they are driving into my thoughts maana wanajaribu kuingiza katika mawazo yao which i've not even told them am jambo ambalo hata sijawaambia So when my brother spoke that word. Wakati ndugu alinena hilo neno. I went back on the drawing board. Nikarudi tena kujirudia tena upya. And the words used like this. Na maana alitumia ni haya. Maybe God. Huenda ni Mungu. Not just do don't do, do no maybe God. Huenda Mungu. You, you know he never knew what he was talking. Wajua hakujua alikuwa anasema nini. So he turned my decision around. Basi akageuza mawazo yangu nika nikajirudia. After that baada hayo is when brothers called me ndio ndugu aliniita brother simon ndugu simon the late zakayo and the late waithaka na yule ndugu zakayo ambaye ameaga na waithaka pia ambaye ameaga wakaniita when we were choosing our pastor tulipokuwa tunachagua mchungaji then we had two brothers to choose tukawa na ndugu wawili wa kuchagua and then brother we want to choose you as our pastor wakaniambia ndugu tungependa tukuchague kama mchungaji wetu Sometimes you have to trace how God has dealt with you, you know. Wakati mwingine lazima ufuatilie vile Mungu amekushughulikia. Brother please, that's a hard work for me. Nikawaambieni wa ndugu tafadhali ni kazi ngumu. I had someone in the message. Nilikuwa nimehubiri tu mahubiri mmoja katika ujumbe. Only one someone. Moja tu mahubiri mmoja. When the pastor I think was not around. 
Wakati mchungaji hakuweko. The greatest battle ever fought. Vita vikuza hivi vilivyowahi kupigana. And I'd walked from satellite by foot to town. Na siku hiyo nilikuwa nimetembea kwa mguu kutoka satellite mpaka town. Because I had no fear. Maana sikuwa na nauli. And I never knew the shortcut so I followed the main road. <laughs> Na si kujua njia za mkato basi nikafuata njia njia ya, ya barabara ya magari kama gari And by now I was in town you know Na kufikia saa tatu nilikuwa kanisani wajua So this brother please don't do that Basi nikamwambia wa ndugu msifanye hivyo No you try Wakasema wewe jaribu tu So I agreed Basi nikajifanya So I ended up in the office Nikaishia katika hiyo ofisi We continued we continued. Tukaendelea tukaendelea. Brothers. Wandugu. Those days. Zile siku. We had we had battles. Tulikuwa na vita. And I've seen God faithful. Na nishaona Mungu kwa mwaminifu. You can ask some of our earliest deacons like brother Njoroge and brother Martin Ochiel. Weza uliza wale mashemazi wetu wa kwanza kama ndugu Njoroge ama ndugu Ochiel. They know what we went through. Wanajua yale tuliyapitia. And our pastor was messed up. Na mchungaji wetu alikuwa ashachafuliwa na mambo mengi. Leave alone brother. Achana na ndugu. A pastor known to have several women. Mchungaji wetu alijulikana kuwa na wana wake wengi. But he was our pastor. Lakini alikuwa mchungaji wetu. We respected the office. Tukaheshimu ofisi. That's why the land prophet says if you can't respect the man, respect the oh. Na hapo ndio nabii usema kama uwezi muheshimu huyo mtu, heshimu ofisi yake. Then alafu we continued we continued tukaendelea 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 around mid 90s katikati ya miaka ya 90 I had a problem with my own house nikawa na shida na nyumba yangu mwenyewe and one week na juma moja I decided nikaamua I will go and resign nitaenda nikajiuzulu just before that kabla ya hiyo I hope you don't tire you natumaye itawachosha because you have to know some of these things maana lazima mjue baadhi ya mambo haya we have the life history of the prophet tunayo maisha hadithi ya mwanadamu we can trace the ministry you need to know for your pastor maisha yake lazima mjue ya mchungaji wenu tena so that if is, is, the things went wrong you should know Ili the man who is leading you mambo yaliena makosa mjue mtu anayewaongoza i wanted you know when i was in railway training Wajua nilipokuwa katika chuo cha mafunzo ya railway and came to applying to, for our posting. It came to applying for our posting. Ilikuja sasa tu anze kupeana mapeana malala kulimalilio kwa ajili ya kujiriwa kazi. Me I wanted no where you should be stationed. Mali unapaswa kuajiriwa. I applied to go to Eldoret. Mimi nilipeana niende Eldoret. We had three districts, Nairobi, Nakuru and Mombasa. Tukawa na wilaya tatu Nairobi, Nakuru na Mombasa. So, basi I liked Eldoret Church. Nilipenda kanisa la Eldoret that had good ministers. Some of na, you know, others know them. Na wahubiri wazuri baadhi yenu mnawajua. So, I'll just go there. Nikajua nikienda kule. I'll be in a good church. Nitakuwa kanisa nzuri. That's all I'm looking for. Hiyo ndio nafuta. So I filled Nakuru. Basi nikajaza niende Nakuru. I wanted to go to Nilitaka Ni, niende Eldoret. Now, sasa posting came. Basi ajira zikaja. Those who applied Nakuru were put in Nairobi. Wale waliotaka kwenda Nakuru wakawekwa Nairobi. Those who applied Nairobi were put in Nakuru. Waliotaka kwenda kuwa Nairobi wakawekwa Nakuru. Now what do you do? Sasa utafanya nini? Songe mbele kidogo. Let us move ahead. Now sasa one went to nakuru was from ukambani moja aliena nakuru anatoka ukambani we trained together tulifuzwa pamoja then this man na huyu mtu the father was not happy because they were living there baba yake hako anafurahia vile alivyo kwa told him you must come to nairobi aka he told him you must come akaniambia lazima he told his son akaambia mwanawe lazima aje nairobi so the only way was to cross transfer basi njia pekee ilikuwa badilishane moja yeye kuja nairobi na mwingine aende Nakuru. So he approached me. Basi akani told me na, I want us to cross transfer with you. Akaniambia nataka tubadilishane. Now, sasa who was to write a letter? Nani alipaswa kuandika barua? It is me now. Ni mimi sasa. Told me write a letter. Akaniambia niandike barua. Now it happened the senior personnel officer in the department was a man from home. Sasa ikatokea kwamba msimamizi mkuu katika ile idara nilikuwa nafanya kazi alikuwa mtu kutoka nyumbani. So I wrote the letter it went to him. Basi nikaandika barua ikaenda kwake. They wrote to him. Wakamwandikia. To acknowledge the transfer. Kukubali ile muwalo wa mwisho. 
Could you imagine the same person saying we never talked and agreed? Je, unaweza wazia mtu yule yule aliyetaka nienda akasema hatukuketi tukaongea tukakubaliana. And then now this man told me. Sasa huyu mtu akaniambia or should I transfer you? Ama nikuhamishe wewe basi. It was only to write a letter and I'm transferred. Ilikuwa tu niandike barua na nihamishwe. I told him wait I'll come back to you. Nikamwambia subiri. Because I realized. Nitarudi kwako. Maana nikatambua I could be running away from the will of God. Naweza kuwa na tok na toroka nitorokee mapenzi ya Mungu. He retired and left railways before me going back to his office. Huyo msimamizi ama huyo mkuu wa idara alistaafu akaondoka na mimi nikabakia kwa ofisi. No before. Kabla me going to his office. Oh kabla mimi niende kwa ofisi yake. That's early 90s. Hiyo ni miaka ya 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 mid 90s. Katikati ya miaka 90s. I was telling you my house had a problem. Nikawaambia nyumba yangu ilikuwa na shida. God kept me when I was working in railways. Mungu alinihifadhi nilipokuwa nafanya kazi railways. Because I was supposed to report at 7. Maana nilipaswa kuingia kazini saa moja. I report at 9. Na nilikuwa naingia saa 3. And I'm passing through the gate next to the office of the works manager. Na nilikuwa napitia kwenye lango lililoko karibu na yule mkurugenzi. Ama manager. No. He almost sucked me. Karibu anifute kazi. But is they realize no. Lakini wakatambua hapana. Now When I was troubled one week I said Niliposumbuka juma moja nikasema How do I solve my problem? Nitawezaje kusuluhisha shida yangu? The only easy way is this. Njia ya pekee iliyo rahisi ni I resign as the pastor. Ni nijiuzulu kama mchungaji and then alafu I deal with my house problem. Nishughulikie shida nyumba yangu. This was troubling the whole week. Hiyo ilinisumbua juma mzima. And I decided. Na nikaamua Then we came for the service. Alafu tukaja kwa ibada. I don't know that it was Saturday or Sunday, I don't know. Sijui kama ilikuwa Jumamosi ama Jumapili sijui. God uses a sister. Mungu akamtumia dada. She's in Canada now. Yuko Canada sasa hivi. So after the service, basi baada ya ibada, she calls me. Akaniita. Tells me, "Pastor, akaniambia mchungaji, I have a message for you." Nina ujumbe kwa ajili yako. Okay, what is the message? Nikamuuliza ujumbe ni nini? You have been going through this through this through this. Ume, umekuwa ukipitia haya na haya and na you haya. are deciding to do this. Na unaamua umeamua kufanya hivi. But God is saying. Lakini Mungu anasema, carry your burden on the back in a lesson and go ahead. <laughs> Beba mzigo wako katika mgongo na uendelee, songe mbele. Now this person I have not shared with her what I'm thinking. Basi huyu mtu ama huyu dada sijashiriki na yeye kila ambacho ninawazia. <laughs> Let me finish by this. Hebu nimalizie kwa kusema hivi. This Pentecostal man who was here Zedekiah. Huyu mtu wa Kipentecost ambaye alikuwa hapa Zedekiah. He is another one. Ndiye mwingine. He is another one. Ndiye mwingine. When they came here for our Thanksgiving meeting. Walipokuja hapa kwa mkutano wetu wa kutoa shukrani. And sweet boss brother Ireli is there. Tunapoendelea ndugu Ireli yuko pale. No speak boss is there. Ninaponena sababu ndugu Ireli yuko pale. He is a witness. Ni shahidi. After the Saturday service, baada ya ibada ya Jumamosi, we went to our old office here. Tukaenda katika ofisi yetu ya Kale. We were three of us. Tulikuwa si watatu. Then we were just talking talking. Alafu tulikuwa tunaongea tunajadiliana. Then this man says sometimes people jack. Eh? Watu wengine wakuna jua mtu ufanya ni kama shtuka. Pastor, mchungaji. I want to tell you something. Ningependa nikwambie kitu. And if it is not so, na kama si hivyo, it shall be so. Itakuwa hivyo. Okay, what is it? Basi nikamuuliza ni nini? And the man goes to the condition of my house. Na yule mtu akaingia katika hali ambayo inasumbua nyumba yangu. What can you call that? Unaweza sema ni nini? Now this is not a prophet. Basi huyu si nabii. I'm talking about a gift of prophecy. Na nena kuhusu kipawa cha unabii. Speaking inspired words. Kikinena maneno ambayo yamevuviwa. That's what Paul is saying. Ndio Paulo anasema we strive to prophesy tuja, tujitahidi kutubu to in, speak inspired words Kunena, to edify brothers to edify sisters kunena maneno ambayo yamevuviwa kuwajenga wandugu kuwajenga wadada that's when 
you can be a blessing. Hapo ndio utaweza kuwa mtu wa baraka. Because sometimes God inspires you. Mungu anakuvuvia. A brother has a problem. Dugu anayo shida. A sister has a problem. Dada ana shida. And then you speak something. Alafu unanena kitu that is concerning that problem there. Ambacho kinaambatana na ile shida pale. And a brother gets a way out. Na ndugu anapata njia kuondokea jambo hilo. Na dada anapata njia kuondokea. That's what Paul says uh, desire to prophesy. Na ndio na Paulo anasema mtamanini ama mjitahidi kuutubu. This is beyond now quoting scripture now. Hii ni zaidi ya kunukuma andiko sasa. It's beyond quoting of the message now. Ni zaidi ya kunukuu ujumbe. But God is using you. Ila Mungu anakutumia. Because you are a vessel. Kwa sababu wewe ni chombo. You speak something. Unanena kitu. And yet is addressing a problem of a brother or a sister. Hata hivyo kinashughulikia shida ya ndugu ama dada. And that's why we must be sensitive also. Na ndio lazima tumakinike pia. When everybody is talking. Wakati kila mtu anaongea. Brother and sister. Kwa ndugu na wadada. Me I don't underestimate anybody even mm. unbelievers. Mimi si mudunishi mtu yoyote awe ni ndugu ama asia mimi because you don't know maana hujui god can use them mungu anaweza kutumia i'm showing you how a gift of prophecy works najaribu kuwaonyesha kipao cha unabii vile kinafanya kazi through believers kupitia waaminio And that's why sababu, sometimes even wakati mwingine hata somebody troubled mtu ana shida you come with a dream unakuja na ndoto you saw a dream uliona ndoto and the dream maybe is the answer to that person's problem na uenda hiyo ndoto yako ndio jibu ama jawabu kwa shida ya yule mtu you, you don't know wewe well, ujui ndugu niliota hivi brother i dreamed this way sema ndoto yako Can you give us your dream? I saw we were here. Niliona tulikuwa hapa. This is happening. Na hii katokea. Let me shock you today. Hebu niwashangaze leo. Do you know almost all things that happen here? Sometimes these are mostly sisters. Wajua mambo mengi yaliyotendeka hapa wakati ya dreams. Wakati mwingine haya hawa ni wadada ambao nililetea mambo hayo yaliyotokea hapa kupitia things that happen. Mambo ambayo yanatendeka. They bring me to show god knows mambo ambayo utendeka hapa mara nyingi hii sana sana ni kwa wadada huniletea kabla ya tendeke kunikuonyesha kwamba ni mungu ndiye amewaonyesha kabla ya tendeke so sometimes that's why you see i'm never worried na ndio wakati mwingine unaona si fadhaiki hata nini ifanyike mimi you never you never scare me i'm not worried whatever happens you are mwezi ukani ukani tisha sometimes i say wacha itendeke ndio itimize yule unabii sasa vizuri wakati mwingine unaona sema let it happen for it to fulfill that prophecy i love it naipenda may god help us na mungu atusaidie We need it brothers. Tuahitaji wa ndugu. We need it sisters. Tuahitaji wa dada. These lovely gifts of the spirit. Hizi karama nzuri za Roho Mtakatifu. But put in charity. Ili zina ile zinawekwa katika upendo. That suffereth long. Ambao uvumilia yote. That beareth all things. Ambao ustahimili mambo yote. Believeth all things. Na uamini mambo yote. Let's keep praying. Hebu tuendelee kuomba. Let's keep trusting. Tuendelee kumtumainia. Sometimes people have problems. Listen to me this. Wakati mwingine watu wanazo shida, nisikizeni ninapomalizia. And those problems can only be addressed by the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Na hizo shida zinaweza shughulikiwa tu na karama za Roho Mtakatifu. That's why we need them. Na ndio tunazihitaji. You are witnesses. Nyinyi ni mashahidi. And I'll keep saying that. Na nitaendelea kusema hivyo. Sometimes brothers are sick. Wakati mwingine wa ndugu ni wagonjwa. Wadada ni wagonjwa. Children are sick. Watoto ni wagonjwa. We need God. Tumuhitaji Mungu. To come and tell us why. Aje atuambie ni kwa nini? And what should be done? Na ni jambo gani linapaswa kutendeka? Not just a religious church. Si tu kanisa la kidini. Believe Brother Branham's message. Wanaamini ujumbe wa ndugu Branham. They can come to service. Anaweza kuja katika ibada. The pastor can quote and quote and quote. Mchungaji anaweza nukuna kunukuna kunuku. And sing the last song and go home. Na kuimba wimbo wa mwisho waende nyumbani. The church of God is a living organism. <laughs> kanisa la Mungu liko hai. Living organism. Kanisa la Mungu ni kiumbe kilicho hai. We believers know we can our problems can be addressed there. Bali waamini wanajua shida zetu zinazoshughulikiwa pale. That's what I'm looking for. Ndio mimi natafuta. May God help us. Hebu Mungu atusaidie to have this gift. Kuwa na hizi karama. And if you have to brother or sister, 
If you have na it, kama unayo karama ndugu wa madada consecrate your life weka maisha yako wakfu dedicate yourself jitoe trust god mtumainie mungu don't you worry about those who oppose the gift usijali kuhusu wale ambao wanapinga hiyo karama no hapana you worry about being faithful to god shughulika tu kwa muaminifu kwa mungu Gifts are not for unbelievers. Karama si za wasioamini. Or make believers. Ama wanayojifanya kuamini. It's for believers. Ni za waaminio. And when brothers and sisters have gifts. Na wakati wa ndugu na wadada wanazo karama. Don't go to them as well again. Listen, yeah, don't go to them. Usiwaende. Sometimes you see wakati like wakati. these gifts God uses to show things. Kama hizi karama ambazo Mungu hutumia kuona mambo. Do like what the prophet said. Tenda vile nabii anasema. Tell God. Mwambie Bible is to say like this in design. Bible iko nasema hii katika upamanuzi. Touch Jesus by your faith. Muguze Yesu kwa imani yako. Then he will show me your problem. Ndio atanionyesha shida yako. Tell God. Mwambie Mungu. Show my brother. Onyesha ndugu yangu. Show my sister. Onyesha dada yangu about my condition. Kuhusu hali yangu. Let God use them to tell you. Ebu Mungu akawatumie kukuambia. Not you going to them. Si wewe kwenda kwao. I hope you are getting me. Natumai unanipata. Because sababu maybe God will use another one you are not expecting. Huenda Mungu atamtumia mwingine ambaye humtarajii. You are expecting maybe brother James to be used. Unatarajia labda ndugu James atumiwe and God uses brother Bonfas. Na ndugu Mungu anatumia ndugu Bonfas. You will miss it. Utaikosa. But when you open all God lakini unapojifungua e Mungu through any of your gifts kupitia karama yako yote address my problem shughulikia shida yangu God is faithful Mungu ni mwaminifu He will address it ataishughulikia and you be sensitive na uweze kumakinika when God moves wakati Mungu anaposonga Is that our desire Jeni shauku yetu May God bless you Na Mungu awabariki Shall we stand up? Tukasimame. Let's to sing a song then we pray. Tunapomba imba wimba alafu tuombe. Page 219. You know song 219 I mean. Wimba nambari 219. Just be faithful. Uwe tu muaminifu to this message you have heard. Kwa ujumbe ambao umesikia, Prophet has told us. Nabii Asha atuambia, this God's way of perfecting his church. Hii ndio njia Mungu ya kukamilisha kanisa lake. And God will not take another way. Na Mungu hata waikubali njia nyingine. And we must be agonizing with God in his to fulfill his own words. Na lazima tuwe tunaugua na Mungu kuweza kutimiza neno lake. And he will fulfill it. Na atalitimiza. May we have just the right mental attitude. To every word he has spoken. God will fulfill his own words. These days of trials so near Yeah.
sent to a church. The prophet was sent to individuals. That's why the conclusion of the message is he, individual that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. The individuals who can be called out. That's the church now is talking about. The other one is just a false church. Both of them are vines called. When you read the message of the hour. Do you see the prophet addressing you or addressing another person? The hour is come. I want the prophet to speak to me. I want the Holy Ghost to talk to me. When he's using even a preacher, I don't want to see him talking to another brother or sister. Because I will miss my blessing. I want to see myself as who the message is being directed to. So just be faithful. Believe his words. Stay with his message as you have heard. My words can fail. And any pastor can fail. And they have failed. And have failed many times. Preachers can fail. Deacons can fail. Trustees can fail. But the prophet vindicated by the pillar of fire cannot fail. May each one of us know the most important thing is you being a recipient of the prophet's message. That's the church Jesus is coming for. Those who receive that message and live by it. As we pray, just be sincere before God. Examine your life, your behaviors, your actions. 
your attitudes mienendo yako your reactions na vile unavyojibiza ama kuitika kuhusu mambo fulani were they from the holy spirit yalitokana na roho mtakatifu or was it like in philadelphia in sedition church age ama ilikuwa katika kama katika kanisa la sardi where the wrath of god the wrath of man was praising god mali ghadhabu ya mwanadamu ilikuwa inamsifu mungu save your soul kimbilia uokoe nafsi yako save your soul okoa nafsi yako don't even try strive to save me hata usijaribu kuniokoa mimi first of all save your soul kwanza uko nafsi yako gracious lord jesus christ bwana neema yesu kristo merciful god mungu mwenye rehema loving father baba mpendwa thy word is gone forth neno lako limeenenda never knew to go like that sikwa ijue litaenda hivyo but as you are what is servant kama mtumishi wako asiyestahili and what is the lord chombo kisicho stahili even to handle this message hata kushughulikia ujumbe when i know even the qualifications of a minister ninapojua hata hitima za mhuduma are so high ziko juu zaidi i feel i'm wanting lord na hisi ya kwamba nimepungukiwa I have many shortcomings father. Nina upungufu mwingi baba. Many failures in this life. Kushindwa kwingi katika ya maisha. Even I fear for myself. Hata na najichelea mwenyewe. But I can only say. Ila naweza sema tu have mercy upon me. Unirehemu bwana. Have mercy upon me. Unirehemu. Have mercy upon me. Unirehemu. Not only me Lord. Na si mimi tu peke yake. But this your children. Ila hata watoto wako whom you have given me to overseer over ambao umenipatia nikaweza kuwasimamia unless jehovah raha isipokuwa jehovah raha you use me unitumie i can't shepherd them lord siwezi wachunga bwana nobody can shepherd your flock hakuna wezai chunga zizi lako la kondo you are the only chief shepherd wewe ndiye mchungaji mkuu peke yako the true shepherd mchungaji wa kweli of the sheep fold wa zile lile zizi these lile are kuni. souls hizi ni nafsi you shed your blood to buy them on calvary ni mwaga damu yako kuwanunua calvary and lord you have called them na bwana umewaita father according to your purpose baba kulingana kusudi lako knowing the work you have begun in them kujua kazi uliyoanza ndani yao you are going to finish unaenda kuimaliza can only say as your servant unaweza sema kama mtumishi wako have mercy upon them as well rehemu warehemu pia forgive their failures samehe makosa yao forgive their unbelief samehe kutoamini kwao forgive anything wrong samehe yote amani makosa with the blood of jesus na damu ya yesu in intercession now amani waombea sprinkled upon every heart kanene juu ya kila moyo have mercy upon my brother rehemu ndugu zangu have mercy upon my sister rehemu dada zangu have mercy upon some husband here rehemu mume fulani hapa some wife here lord mke fulani hapa some child here lord mtoto fulani hapa who has failed in your word ambaye amekosesha neno lako have mercy upon us lord ukaturehemu to whom else can we go to kwa nani mwingine tunaweza muendea only thou hast the words of eternal life standing here lord kisimama hapa as an angel of the church kama malaika wa kanisa oh lord eh bwana i'm pleading for mercy naomba kwa ajili ya rehema in your presence now katika uwepo wako by the blood of jesus christ kwa yesu kristo we need forgiveness lord till you can wash us hadi utuoshe and you can use us na ututumie through this gift so lord kupitia hizo karama to any by one another Ingana. to build up the church of god my brother needs help my sister needs help i can't offer them lord it takes you coming through me and through my brother and through my sister through this picture of this lord oh gracious lord jesus we are crying to you have mercy upon us and even those among us lord who fail of father who have no fear of god who can do evil things have mercy upon them lord through the name of jesus christ and your holy blood standing like moses in the gap of god standing like the prophet in the gap of god have mercy upon them lord god rich in mercy god rich in grace oh lord that you send your power to deliver my brother to deliver my sister to change my brother to change my sister to heal my brother to heal my sister to bless 
my brother, to bless my sister, to fill my brother, to fill my sister. Send the power, Lord. Oh, gracious Lord Jesus, I commit the church into your hands. It is your word. You will water it, Lord. It is beyond human ability. Unless you watch over them, I labor in vain, Lord. Every minister labors in vain. Every minister labors in vain. Every deacon labors in vain. Unless you watch the city, the watchman will get but in vain. Unless you build, the builders do it in vain. This is the our Lord Jesus to see the supernatural manifested among us as a cure Lord to many problems among us. Have mercy upon the whole church. Therefore we have come. It is your Ebenezer. It is your hand, Lord. Lord. It is your hand, O oh Lord. Blessed be your name. This day, O oh Father, before the sun goes down, may the sins of every brother, the sins of every sister, by true confession, Lord, be placed under your blood. Wash away the sin forgiveness, Lord. We come into city for our brothers, for our sisters, Lord. Then he delivered his father. Lord Jesus, your word is gone forth. It may be very hard even for me, Lord. But that's the standard we must measure. You spoke through your prophets and told us it will take charity to put us there, Lord. Lord, I don't want manufactured charity. I want charity that I can read. This epistle, Lord, and amen every word because I can see it reflected in me, Lord. Be merciful to us, Jesus. For our evil thoughts, evil desires, Judgments, Lord. Uamuzi. Condemnation, Father. Bwana, Let the love of Christ e reign in every heart. Kila moyo. And we can put on charity the bond of perfectness. Cha That's my cry. Dio That's my pleading, Lord. Dio That's my prayer Dio for every brother here, Kwa kila ndugu for wa. every sister here, Kwa kila for myself, for God. Thank you, Jesus. Asante, yes. Your word cannot return void. It will accomplish. It must accomplish in our lives the desired work, O Lord, and prosper in the same. As I commit my brothers here into your hands, I never called them here. You know why they have come here? What can I do for them? Only you, Jesus. Can help them. They are your own children. I can't send them away. You said whoever comes to you. I won't cast away. Lord Jesus upon your own word. Take my brothers. And grant them the desire of their hearts. May they have a testimony of a divine visitation of what you have done to them, Lord. There is power in the word. There is power in the blood. Grant it, Lord Jesus, that the power of the blood can break every fetter, can bring liberty, can set them free. The blood of Jesus washes white as snow upon their confession, Lord. Lord Jesus, I commit everything into your hands. Each one of us, you see the cry in our hearts. Starting with me, Lord. Oh Lord, help us. Have mercy upon us as we thank you for the service.
Even as we leave and go home. Let each one of us. Re-examine himself for us. We don't want manufactured charity. We want Holy Ghost born charity. That has the attributes the word says. I believe it is there somewhere Lord. That's what my prayer give to my brother. Give to my sister. That Holy Ghost charity that suffers long, that is kind, that believes at all things, that is not easily provoked. You are able, Lord. We can believe it. Thank you, Lord. I commit the church into your hands. Praying upon a promise, I know. No weapon formed against them shall prosper. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I condemn and destroy every weapon of Satan upon this congregation. You promised us our enemies will come in one way. You will scatter them away in seven ways. In the name of Jesus. You promised every enemy rising against us for our sake they must fall in the name of Jesus Christ. Your hand, Lord, is not shortened that it cannot save. Your ears are not closed. They cannot hear, Lord. And a sin, and a sin that can hinder your ear from hearing. Lord Jesus, convict that heart. Convict that heart that they may repent and confess and get it away, Lord. Lord Jesus, you said when the congregation is happy and the pastor is happy, then you are happy. It's my desire that I joy that passes understanding the peace of God to flow into every heart in the name of Jesus Christ. Come and honor your word. Come and fulfill your word. We look to you, blessed Savior. Lord Jesus, you are worthy. Worthy is the lamb for sinners slain. Give him all the glory and the honor. I commit the church into your hands. Lord, only thou can shepherd them. Sometimes I get tired. I fail. But he that keeps Israel shall not slumber. Day and night, watch over these souls of God. Bless them, Lord. Grant the desires of their hearts. Grant the desires of their hearts. Let their joy be full. Let their joy be full. Even the, the things you are talking, Lord. We see our brothers struggling, suffering with children, with the sicknesses. What's the God of Elijah, Lord? What's the God of Branham, Lord? We have quoted enough laws. I'm ashamed of even quotations myself. My desire is to see God of Elijah, Lord. Have mercy upon me, Lord. Help me, Jesus. Help me to see the God of Elijah. Help my brothers. Help my sisters. Grounded Savior. Even as we go home, give us a wonderful week of a closer walk with you.
where you are, ne you are never failing presence can lighten our way. Where you can fulfill your promise to be with us and in us. That every brother can have that personal testimony. Every personal testimony. You are walking with them, O oh Lord. With that, O oh Father. We know we can walk in the light as you are in the light, O oh Lord. Bless us, Lord. Bless our ministers here. Give them that vision, Lord. Anoint them, Father. There you anointed Paul and Branham, Lord, with the same Holy Ghost, the same love. Upendo ule the ule. same charity, Lord, Upendo ule ule. to bring these words for perfecting of saints. Bless our deacons, Lord, and the trustees. Give them wisdom, Lord, and fill them with the Holy Ghost, and give them faith, O Lord, in their service to you, in your name, Lord. That as a unified body, O Lord, we can move together. Let nothing stop that unity, Lord. We desire it, O Father, united under one headship. The resurrected Lord Jesus Christ. I commit the church into your hands. Shepherd them, Lord, wherever they go. Thank you, Lord. Bless us. Grant our needs. Solve our problems. We commit this into your hands. In the lovely name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.